morning show. Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. It's your girl, Bonnie Mercado. It's from 8 to Friday, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's real radio. It's the things that you want to hear. Uncensored, uncut, unfiltered. Most important, though, it's real. Wake the hell up with me, your girl Bonnie Mercado. I make radio real again. Mainstream to underground. So make sure you're tuning in. And wake the hell up! <laughs> Bella. She's a brat. You know it. So wake the hell up with me. Monday through Friday. Wake the hell up. All right, eggs. I can't do that this morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome to the Wake the Hell Up show. I am your host, Bonnie Mercado. If you haven't noticed, you can see it in the screen right there. If you have not subscribed, do so. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, hit that thumbs up. I know I'm asking things so fast in the day, but it's kind of like how you start the show. But remember, the way we start this party and we have a lot of fun is I find some Wake the Hell Up facts. I'm going to find a total of three. I'm going to go on the internet. I ask you guys because there is a lot of people that tune in over the weekend they got to catch up because they've had work and other stuff to do so please don't cheat that means don't ask a friend a neighbor no asking your devices because they do talk back to you yes that also means no encyclopedias or dictionaries. Now, you guys are the smartest of the world, my Wake Dallas family, the geniuses. You make my job so hard. But I love seeing you every day on the weekdays. You keep that smile bright on my face. So let me say hello to the Wake Dallas family. Actually, not just yet. First, don't skip commercials. Remember, commercials are going to pop up, and it's not just me, other YouTubers out there. Don't hit that skip button. Wait 30 seconds. You can do it. It's easy. That's how you show love to the channel. Not just me. Again, other YouTubers out there. And then if you feel like you want to donate or you're feeling like you want to skip a commercial, just hit the little money sign right below and then just donate. All right, now let's have a party. And remember, be positive, tune out the negative. And I see my Wake the Hell of family. Oh my goodness, Tamid came in real early and just went crazy. <laughs> and then California Republic, I see you. Good morning to you. And then Sean, I see you as well. And Anna, how you been, sweetie? We haven't seen you in a while. Mr. Golden Larry, good morning to you. And Ed, I see you as well. Morning, 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 morning. All right, now, now let me catch up on the chat before you guys say, you didn't see what I said. <laughs> it is not your first time. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You're saying for the first time, are you saying you got here for the first time? Is that what you're saying? You made it? You were number one? <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh-oh, don't call kids. Hey, I'll call you a kiddo. We're all kids because we all have that kid spirit in us anyway. And speaking of which, if you are not 18 or over, you need parental permission. I have said it, but I don't have to because YouTube already did it for this channel. Thank you very much. All right. And you guys are talking amongst yourself. And remember, have fun with each other. We are family. But no bullying each other. If somebody starts getting pissed off and say, okay, you went a little too far, then just stop. Otherwise, you can block anybody you want. Okay, keep that in mind. And you lost all of the song. Are you talking about my intro? What do you mean? Oh, if you cough, remember. And don't forget, if you're going out there, social distancing too, but make sure you are keeping masks up. And you can order yours. Remember, merchandise is here. It's right in the link right above. And Sean, you was on video chat with your best friend all night, and she's awesome. 
Well, usually when somebody is awesome, it could make like time just kind of disappear. Kind of like when I hang out with you guys, you guys just like the time disappears. It's like the next time we look at the clock, it's been like two hours past. Like, holy crap. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Anna. I totally understand. You got school. It's okay. But when you're here, thank you for being here when you can. And I know you'll catch up on episodes. And I know when you come over, you hit that thumbs up. So I appreciate you, sweetie. Thank you. And I hope school is doing great for you. Ed goes to mid, who could forget you? <laughs> You're one of the family members that we would not forget. No, every single one of you are special in your own way. We're not going to forget you unless you start changing your name. Then you can't be mad at us because some people do that. And then it's like, how am I supposed to know who you are? All right. Now, and Tuesday was your birthday. Happy belated birthday to Anna. <laughs> and knob shots good morning to you how have you been all right well it is time i'm going to find our first wake the hell up fact what is it going to be i have no clue because we're gonna find something remember it's very hard because you guys are super super smart all right what's it going to be mm -hmm. oops I don't know why that just opened. Oh, and I realized something. Do you remember yesterday when I was like at the end of the show and I was like trying to understand why the volume, it was making that sound? Well, you know how your phone, when you change ringtones or if you put volume up and down and it has like the automatic sound, that's what that was. That was driving me crazy and it kept happening. I'm like, I don't understand. I guess the phone did an update or I had some setting on. And so at least now I know what to be prepared for. <laughs> it's just going to be quick and then it goes right away. And Blake, no crying right now. Wipe those tears. No reason to cry. Not when you're hanging out with us, man. The best fam that you could ever have. All right. And thank you, Tamid. Yes, say happy birthday to Anna. Belated, because it doesn't matter what day it is. If you want to celebrate your birthday and put that smile on your face, we'll say happy birthday to you. And Brian, I see you. Good morning, sweetie. Okay, let's see now. How about... Hmm. We're going to find something. I'm going to find something really good. And what did you say to mid? You and your dad went to a restaurant or something ate a big... Oh, fried crispy chicken burger. Yum. And your dad got some soup and chicken fries and french fries and head ranch. We had a turkey burger. We had turkey burgers last night and um what the hell are they called? Sweet potato fries. But they were actually the they were actually healthy sweet potato fries. And um didn't put them um, it was just like the pre-made ones and the city baked them. Oh my god. Oh my god, they were so good. <laughs> and I had the mango habanero salsa on my turkey burger and some spinach, you know, all the works. And Mr. Wildcat, good morning to you, sweetie. Uh, Sean, are you ready? Thanksgiving bowling tournament, you can't wait. You know what I can't wait for Thanksgiving too? Steelers are going to destroy the Ravens <laughs> on Thanksgiving. I think it's Thanksgiving night. It's an evening game. You can't say everybody's names? Welcome to my club. What can I really pronounce that's correct sometimes? And Mr. Wildcat, I could call you Tyler? All right, no worries. If I can remember that every time you come in, I will. Don't be mad if I call you Mr. Wildcat again, okay? And join the 24-7 chat. Go to the Discord. Listen to Nightbot. Nightbot will be putting some great information for you to follow. And if you don't follow the rules here, which pretty much we have fun is really not really so much to follow, but you know what I mean. Nightbot will get your ass. So, Fiaz, I'm warning you because you always come in and you put like the dot and you're not even doing anything wrong, but Nightbot thinks you're posting links. So hopefully you don't get the time out right when you come in today. And yes, you already know it's a mid go Steelers. Keep that smile on my face. And would you say, Blake, nobody understands me. People kill me today. Good people. Nobody understands and will never and your dad walked out of your life when you were 16 years. So you know what? 
That was a long time ago. Don't dwell on the past. Don't think about it. Don't. Just know you're in a family right now and we're not walking out on you. So you're going to be okay, sweetie. There you go, Fiaz. See, now for some reason, you can do that. I don't know. You can put some dots and then you can't put dots. But good morning, Fiaz. Oh, my goodness. Tyler, tomorrow is your birthday. Are you excited? Also lands on a Friday. So you have like a three weekend birthday. Pretty freaking cool. And WWE Smackdown tomorrow night. We've got so many things that are happening tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Now, let me let me find the wake dial effect. I'm going to find something good here. Oh, Abella, are you going to say good morning? Oh, come here. No, that's it. She's done. She's like, that's all you get. Okay. Let's see. How about... Hmm. Let me click on this link and see what we got going on here. Ooh, eating a hash brownie for breakfast. Yum. <laughs> You're like, uh, I'm in my moment now. Oh, and by the way, I have my tea here. I did something different today. So we did honey vanilla chamomile, because you, you know I love my Celestine brand. But this is the tea that um, it's like, it's so weird because it's like, it's sweet and spicy. So it's a different brand, but I love this. I first got this at Costco and they do have it at Walmart because I've seen it now. But of course at Costco, you get a really good deal. And they only come around once a year. But it's so freaking good. It's like a cinnamon and I don't even know. Actually, she read it to you. It's rubos, chicory root, natural flavor, rose hips, cinnamon, lemongrass, peppermint, chamomile, anise seed, ginger root, orange oil, and orange peel. But it's like a sweet but spicy, but not. It's just weird. I don't know. And mixing it with the honey vanilla, I kind of like that flavor. It has a different little ting to it. Mm. Not bad. Even though I can't still fully taste it, but I know what I'm working with. And you know Bella will come in later. You know it. She's just being a little brat right now. She loves to be bratty. And yes, happy belated Veterans Day, Jeffrey. That was yesterday and we did celebrate it. And that's right, Anna. Michael Jackson and Prince always keeps the smile on your face. And that's right, guys. Always think of the things that make you happy. So anytime that you're not feeling good, you're feeling down at all, you can just think about those things. It's going to brighten you guys right up. And you're so excited to visit your cousin in Hong Kong? Oh, that sounds awesome. How long has it been since you've seen your cousin? Your dad's skin is hot like fire? Maybe he's very hot-blooded. <laughs> Oh no, CPS. You did. You got you got the timeout. You you posted some kind of thing that looked like a link. I don't know. I'm sorry. Welcome back, right? Welcome back. And your best friend's having surgery today. Okay. So we want to put lots of positive love, lots of great energy. For Anna's friend, so she has a great recovery from her surgery fast, okay? We got you, girl. And yes, about your cousin. Why are you worried about him, Brian? What's going on? Is that the reason why you're visiting? Is something wrong? And how about some chicken noodle? Ooh, chicken noodle. I have to tell you, though, from... When I got the Rona, I had so much chicken noodle soup. I'm kind of really over chicken noodle soup right now. I kind of don't even want to see the texture or see it. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not seeing that again. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to find this wake the hell effect. What's it going to be? Something you guys have no, no, no clue. Not at all. He was a protester and he told that his friend got arrested by the police. Oh, I'm sorry. So do you need help? Well, that was the friend. So you're helping bail the friend out? Mm, how about... No, not that one. 
Let's see. I'm gonna find something good. Um, hmm, no. How about, no, I don't like that one either. Okay, let's try a different site, see what we find. Okay, how about this one? Let's see what this is. Um, no. We're going to find it. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Fulton. Good morning, good morning, sweetie. And and what did you say, sweetie? Blake, you're looking for real family, looking for support system to see everyone 24-7. Because people call you rude names. Well, you know what, sweetie? There's always what you can do is if you go online, there is a lot of groups out there. You can actually call somebody. They have, especially now with technology, some video chat, and you will find people. You will find people exactly with the stuff that you're going through, and they would be available for you 24-7. I'm sorry we can't be available for you 24-7, but I promise, I promise no matter what you're going through, there is somebody out there, sweetheart. Sometimes it's just nice to even just look on the internet and then just see, and then you see you're not alone. You're like, oh my God, they have like the same kind of story I do. It'll make you feel better. And someone's like, sleepy, wake up, wake up, wake up, right? No sleeping now, no time for the sleep. You had plenty of sleep. <laughs> All right, let's see, how about Oh, okay. Let's, I think I'm liking this one. This is this is going to be a number, okay? Think about a number. What is the average household? How many things does the average household have? What do you guys think? Wake the hell up back, number one. So think about your house right now, your apartment, wherever you live, and look around and be like, I do it a lot. I'm like, holy crap. Sometimes it's like, my God, there's so much stuff. And especially don't, don't, don't even think about your closets and then the garage and an attic or a basement if you have it. Oh, my goodness. Now think about all those things. How many things do you actually have? And not just you in general. Talking about the whole house. Right? Yep, the average house. Okay. So I'm going to go with the first thing that popped in my brain was probably because of my Pittsburgh Steelers, 77,000. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Seems like a lot, but I know I have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes. We got storage in, in the garage. We have storage in, in the downstairs closet. I got just thinking of like, you know, bathroom items and then, <laughs> right? I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm putting food in this too. <laughs> that can count as a thing. What, my Bella Bellas? You were playing all morning. You almost made me late. Um, and what'd you say to mid? You said a grandpa helps kids like orphan kids and food, good fresh food. Yeah, good. Or just an elderly person that can say they're your grandpa. Because remember, you don't have to be blood related. Okay, Ed's thinking a little bit lower than I am. You're thinking 1,500. Okay, and that could be the case. I'm definitely not going to sit here and count everything. But literally, think about it. It's like, think about blankets you have and towels and washcloths and your appliances. Like just saying that, I'm like, oh my God, just thinking of the pantry closet with our blankets and sheets and all that is just a lot right there. And, and what'd you say, Blake? You're sorry you were feeling always that they come in your house. 
and don't open the door, let your brother get mad and says he's he says very violent things. Well, I'm sorry for that. Sometimes people can't control their temper and sometimes they're very upset with their self and they take it out on you. You can't take it personal, sweetheart. Just know that they are the ones that are having some problems and they actually need some help. And good morning, Allie. Hello, hello, hello. You love my dog, Bella. She's the best. Yes, she is. She just really likes, she's been a lot, very shy lately, but you guys already know she was already shy. And she feels like you guys are getting all the attention now. <laughs> she's not liking it at all. She literally this morning when, when we were playing, she was like not letting me go down the stairs at all. Because she knew, she's like, nope, once she goes down the stairs, she's going to have a vitamin C shot, then she's going to start getting ready for her show. It's like they know. She's so smart. And my clothes are old. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. From 1942. I definitely don't think so. <laughs> this shirt right here is, is Champion. Was Champion around in 1942? I don't know. I'm curious about that. But you know what? For me, I don't care how old something is. If I like it and I want to pull it out of a closet, I'm going to pull it out of a closet. It's what I feel like wearing. No, the shirt is 2019. No, probably. Probably 2018 is the shirt. And the jacket's probably about. Maybe 2018, too. If I'm thinking. And how do you protect yourself when somebody, oh, so they're actually being very violent. Well, unfortunately, I hate to say that you'd have to call the cops on somebody, but if somebody is putting their hands on you, sweetie, then it is time to talk to somebody of authority. And don't tell them and threaten them you're going to call the cops. Just do it and have them ready because nobody should ever put their hands on you. That's not right. That's not right at all. Sometimes people have accidents. But not if they're pushing you and hitting you, not at all. And then also mental abuse. It's not healthy as well. But once somebody does do, do a violent act on you, it's time to act, sweetie. And it's time to just be done. And don't push them back, because especially if they're, if they're stronger than you, it can just get worse. And especially if they already have the violence in them, you're just going to stir them up. So the best thing you can do is just report them. Call the cops on them, sweetie. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. And even when it's family, it's very sad, but you have to do it. You can't be in that kind of situation. And May, good morning to you, sweetie. Hello, hello, hello. We've missed you. And me, well, good morning. How are you? Can I be your mom? Well, a lot of people adopt me, sure. And because we are all family here, so you can pick how we're going to be family. And what did you say, Brian? You're back. He was talking to your cousin on the phone, and he said that he was scared to go outside, but I can visit him anyways. Just be masked up for sure. Make sure you got your sanitizer with you, wash those hands, and keep your distance. And what did you say, Blake? Because they're mentally abusing you, and they're coming into your house every single day. And if they're threatening you, look, and if they're threatening they're going to kill you, that already is over the top. And you can't take that lightly. So it is time to get the authority involved, sweetie. It's time to call the cops and explain to them your situation, explain to them you're scared, and they will help you the next steps of what you have to do. Oh, well, if you want me to be the stepmom, then I guess I guess I could take that title. <laughs> and he's scared, Brian, your cousin, because of the police. Aw, well, it's okay. And people will think you're traveling in time if you see, wait, if you see this in, wait, if you see you're in your clothes. Oh, do you mean if we say that, then people will think it later? Is that what you mean? Autocorrect's not friendly. And remember, it's not you guys. It's autocorrect. And yes, May, you can ask me a question. I might have an answer for you. And Tim is like, it was a girl. You say to me to be a stepmom. I will say no. I was a girl. No, I am a boy. A boy gang. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> hey, stepmom, want to make a show? And and the hub, the hub will like the show? 
Well, you got to let me know. All right. But right now, you guys got to make that guess. Now, remember, it should be a number. Think about a number. What's the first number that comes to your brain? Remember, no matter what you put in, you're going to be right. So don't worry about it. But thinking about all the things in your house, your apartment, how many things do you think make up your whole place that you lie your head, but not just the bedroom? Again, we're talking about the whole house. How many things are the average households? This is going to be an interesting one. It really is. We'll, we'll see how much stuff for the average people, what we really do have. And, and what did you say, Blake? And most of the abuse you've been going on for a long time, it's getting to the point where you can't even call the affords because he wants to keep coming in all the time and he gets mad. No, there's definitely a way you can. Think about it. You go to the bathroom. People aren't in the bathroom with you. There's, they're not in your if they're not in your house right now, you need to report it and you need to let them know you're scared. And you know what they probably do too? You can get a restraining order. So if you get a restraining order and that person comes, I think it's like a hundred feet from you, they automatically go to jail because they, they've been warned. And that's, that's a way too sometimes that people know you're talking business. It's not so much you're calling the cops on them. You're actually going to get that restraining order and it costs absolutely nothing. So maybe that's what you need to do. Go down to the police station and get that already in effect and let them know what's going on. And now you have it on record. So God forbid anything happens. It's like, I've already reported this. This is what's going on. And if a person comes near you, when they have a restraining order, they go to jail. It's, it's like, it's, it's just what it is. Yeah, and with stalking, that's what you do. Trust me. Unfortunately, I know in this category, I've dealt with a lot of stalking issues, and that's what I had to do, a restraining order. And two bathrooms in your dad's house. Okay, you see what I mean? So now think about the things under the cabinet, cleaning supplies, towels, all that stuff. Start adding it up, but add it up fast in your head. Because remember, don't think about it too hard because then you're going to, you know, start to feel like, ooh, I think I'm a little lightheaded. I'm thinking too much. Don't think too much. Just what's your answer? And remember, it's the average. It's the average answer for everybody all around the world. <laughs> May is like, why are we talking about public bathrooms? <laughs> I don't know. Timid sometimes likes to talk about a lot of different things. No, I haven't done any reaction videos just yet, sweetie. I told you, we're just we're just starting to come back now just doing the show. So you got to give me some time. I still haven't been able to do a whole show with you guys just yet. But going till 10 is not that bad. Our family love and you are a sweetie. Well, thank you. I appreciate no night bot. All right. Well, at least I was able to read it. You just got to stop with the dots. I know that's your thing though. So it's like, just maybe make a space in the dot and you can do it. And, and what'd you say, May? The question is FNAF real back then. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, are you having eggs for breakfast? What kind of eggs? Scrambled eggs, sunny side up, over easy, boiled. <laughs> There's so many ways you can have your eggs. You should do a, oh, Anna, I'm try. But seriously, when I like, I'm pushing in my energy and stuff, I start getting like a little, like nauseous, a little dizzy. So that's why I'm not trying to exert myself. And you guys, I love you guys so much. And we have so much fun. I feed off the energy and we have fun. But like when I do that, I got to just slow down a little bit. And yes, Sean, you already know it. Go Steelers. And May says five. Oh, five nights at Freddy's. Okay. I don't know all the abbreviations. What about it? What about it? You said earlier it is no, I don't know what you were trying to ask me about that. And it's an old game. It is an old game. I remember hearing about that when I did um, the Fright Dome the last time before they closed it. And that was in two. 
2000, I want to say 16, I'm thinking. I was like four years ago. Your computer's buffering. Oh, I'm sorry. It's definitely not anything over on my end. We're doing good here. And Bruce, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, Bruce, first wake the hell up fact. Think about your house. Think about how many things you own, but don't think too much. Think about the average household. How many things are in your average household? I know, just thinking about Steeler stuff, I'm already like in the hundreds. <laughs> but I guess 77,000. That's the guess. That's what I'm going with. And we all know what the sevens. <laughs> Bruce is like, my house is at least 1 million. I know. I'm like, we got a lot of stuff too. Oh my God, the last bulk day, we got rid of so much stuff. I've been, it's like every every time, it's like you look around the house, you're like, yeah, I could get rid of that. <laughs> or it's like, man, we've been holding that, especially cleaning the garage. It's like, man, we've had accumulated some trash. <laughs> or things break after time, or you get new things and it's like time to upgrade. I already um, gave a lot of stuff to the homeless. I was do the drop off. So it's like, but I definitely want to go through the clothes again. It's time. Reason I was just saying that we're like, we got to go through stuff again. Cause you know, now it's like starting to get colder weather. And we were just like um, looking at those, um, like the fluffy, like the fuzzy pajama pants. Oh, so warm. I love those. And I was like, I got my Steeler ones. I got my plaid ones and we were going through it. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I don't really have that many anymore. And Brianna's like, and hers were all ripped and old. So you got rid of those. She's like, yeah, it's, it's time. Or to get more like sweatpants because it's getting cold, man. And, and sometimes it's like when you put jeans on, you know, and then they're like sitting on you in that material. It's like, ooh, it keeps you colder. <laughs> and, and what did you say? May, you said, yes, you know, it's an old game, but some people say that it's real back in the 1980s, right? Nothing's ever too old if you enjoy having fun. That's like we talked about the other day. Nintendo's old, right? But is somebody going to mock you because you pull out your Nintendo and you want to play some Super Mario Brothers or your Game Boy? No, if it makes you happy, who the hell cares how old it is? It's vintage and that makes it even cooler. Not everybody has it. Your teeth hurts when you drink cold water, like super cold water. I think for everybody, I know like depending on your enamel, your uh, teeth are sensitive depending on, again, your enamel. But it definitely, it definitely also depends if something's like really, really cold, everybody's going to be affected. But you should let your dentist know next time you go to the dentist. It could be like, I'm very sensitive there. Maybe there's something they can do about it or or tell you to start using a certain kind of toothpaste because I think there's like a certain kind of toothpaste out there for that. I still like my baking soda and water. So uh, I'm not, I'm not, I can't tell you about any other toothpaste. <laughs> and you have a nice video you watch and now you want to see my reaction. You're saying of a video you want to share later. Is that what you're, you're telling me? You're bad at reading Chinese. Not as bad as I am. I'll just look at it and really just not even know what any of it says. So at least you can kind of figure out some of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Bruce says, I have both girls from college room stuff, books, containers, boxes, and boxes. I know. And then I think about like the garage and I'm like, yeah, I know what you mean about those Tupperware boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and then just think about like your holiday stuff. Oh my God. It, it's, it's definitely high up there for us too in this house for sure. Oh my God. Just think about the kitchen too. Kitchen stuff. Whoo. That's up there. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just already think of bathroom stuff. That already is like way up there thinking about lip gloss and chapsticks and, 
Epsom salts and oils and candles and oh my God, it's a lot. <laughs> and and what'd you say? Oh, you're talking to Tamid. And then when you, Bruce said, somehow their place isn't big enough to store this shit. <laughs> That's how it used to be for my mom, too. She used to have a lot of my stuff until, like, I went on my own. And especially until, like, then I got, like, like, like my house. And I got a lot of stuff from, from her. But still, I still have a few more things still with my mom. But that's, like, you know, stuff that it's, like, um, like keepsakes. Well, I do remember I gave my whole sticker collection. That was to my sister. I think she's holding my Barbie. Actually, no, my sister's holding all my Barbie dolls now too. Like I still have some here that are stored, um, but she has like the bulk of it and like some other stuff. I can't, I can't even think about it right now. <laughs> it's like, I know I have so much stuff everywhere. My best friend, Lily, she has some stuff of mine. My friend Darren has some of Breezy's baby stuff. <laughs> Not a lot though. It's just like a little little bag um but what did you say do you need help with a piece of mind a piece of bread oh because having some eggs so bread definitely goes good with the eggs and what did you say Anna you're like speaking of the 80s and 90s because Michael Jackson and Prince were really famous yep that was those times Oh my God. And then think about the grandkids. That's right. You got Eva. Eva the princess is moving in with all her toys. <laughs> it's like a never ending cycle. It just keeps happening. Think about it. Like Bella, then her toys. Just thinking about her toys is like, that's, that's kind of up there too. <laughs> help, help me too. And then Breezy has stuff. And of course she doesn't put everything in her closet. There's so much stuff too in the downstairs closet. It's crazy. And then TJ, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> and and what did you say, Mr. Triple Zero? Because good morning to you. You said, if you're so bad at reading Chinese, then how can you read my messages? Okay, well... I don't see any Chinese in that. And I just know the only Chinese writing that I think, actually, no, that's not Chinese writing. I don't, a different language writing, I already know because I ask people what their name is and I got that. Otherwise, I can't do it. It makes you mad when they almost are there from the park and the road ends. Are you talking in your video game? Because I'm confused with that one. So, May, what do you mean? You said the Friday nights after, I mean, the five nights after Freddy. What are you asking me? It's real because you need an answer. What's, what do you need as your answer? I've heard of it. Yes. Have I played the game? No. <laughs> Is that what you mean? I haven't done that. You sent some pictures on Instagram? Okay, when I creep on you, sweetie, I will check it out. And yes, Anna, and you know how to keep that smile bright on my face. Go Steelers! You have a fever. Excuse you for mistaken. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Feel, please feel better. Fevers are the worst. It does. It does affect you a lot. You feel like you feel like Oscar, <laughs> or even better, Fred Sanford. <laughs> we say that in that. We say this in the house all the time. Yes, because so much crap. Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes it is like I have and like some stuff I have, it's not crap at all. And it's like really nice. But it's just like, I was going through some stuff the other day. And I'm just like, but where can I put it? Because I'm like something, you know, like some stuff, your knickknacks, it's like that needs to be displayed. But then it's like, no, and then I don't want it to fall. Because I have this really pretty like peacock plate, right? And I wanted to put it like, where our TV stuff is, but we already have stuff there. And it's like, I got to get like a stand for the plate because otherwise it's going to fall over. Cause I already kind of leaned it and I was like, Oh no, 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 no. We're not testing that. Then I kind of want to put it in the kitchen, but again, I need a holder. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? I actually do have a holder from another, from like a set a while ago that I said, you know what? I just remember this. I'm like, don't throw up because you might need this. I could probably do that on my peacock plate and put it 
right on like the bar in the kitchen. Ha ha. <laughs> and Irish, good morning to you. But yes, was it called Sanford and Sons? I love that show. And that's exactly what our house is like. <laughs> it's always like something and it's like, like, where does that go? <laughs> and what did you say? And, and the Steelers are the best football team ever. You know it. Okay, Ali says, I want to see this video. You will like it. Wait for me. It's a world on warship short film. Okay, cool. And why is it so cold here? I'm saying the same thing, May. Why is it so cold here in Vegas? Because it is freezing. Oh, and your name is Nagla, not Irish. Okay, I got you. It's just that was in front, and that's usually how I call people out. But I totally got you. So Nagla. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. Or is it Nogla? Let me know if I do pronounce it wrong because I do that with a lot of things and I promise no offense to it and I got you. You can hear the theme song in the background. <laughs> is it now every time Eva comes in or you get her a new toy? <laughs> Soon you can open up your own toy store. And Films Buzz, good morning to you, sweetie. Yes, thank you. Come in for some positivity, and when you do, you bring some more right on in. Thank you, sweetie. You love my theme song? Well, thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. M. Dot did good on that one, didn't he? Okay, so now think again, but remember, don't think too hard. What do you think the average household holds with all the stuff put together. And we're talking about everything because it's a household that I'm thinking that also means furniture, appliances. I just would probably think, no, I would think the food too. What do you think it would be? Ha ha. Oh, Brian's like, I got some Chinese. Can you understand that? Well, hello, Bella. Would you like to say hello? Would you? You know what, though? You. She's just like a kid. You know, kids leave their toys all over the place. She does it. It's like she's constantly leaving her rope in a little ball where you're going to trip. I wonder if she sometimes watches from the corner to be like, ha I gotcha. <laughs> Dust bunnies. <laughs> oh, my God. You saying that just makes me think of the storage of stuffed animals we have. Oh, my God. Not, I got rid of a lot or right? I've given out to people in need and then also pass it down to um, my beautiful godchild, Cheryl. She's gotten a lot of stuff too. But I swear, when I was first with MDOT through our relationship, he every time he went to the store and saw like some cute little stuffed animal and, or cute little roses and stuff, you know, like um, like a bamboo rose or or the ones that don't die. He was always bringing them home. And I know it's so cute and so nice, but I finally was like, baby, do you realize we have a couch full of stuffed animals? No more. I love the thought and I love how they make music and they, and they say, I love you, or they say all these things. I'm like, but if you get one more stuffed animal, I swear to God. <laughs> and I finally had to tell him, I finally had to be like, okay, you know? And he understood. He was like, whoa. He's like, I really have accumulated a lot. I was like, yeah, you have. <laughs> and, and what did you say, Tyler? We're talking about a bunch of things, but we're talking about, because it's the wake the hell up fact. It's the first one of the day. And we're talking about how many things does an average household hold? And through that, we're just thinking about the things and how much stuff we have. And what do we have a lot of? And then Breezy, and then think about all this stuff he also did, and he also bought stuff for Breezy, too. All the time, these little trinkets, and then the same thing Brianna accumulated. And remember how many times I've told you we love Magic Mountain, Six Flags, and carnivals, and all that stuff? Well, you know you always bring back a bunch of stuff. So it's finally like you got to be like, oh, my God. And then remember, I love m and so I have like an m and collection. I'm just like, just thinking about it. I'm like, oh, my God, we have so much stuff. And Aaron, good morning to you. I see you. Danny, I see you. And robots fix themselves. 
Right. I wish. <laughs> I wish I had a robot in the house that I could be like, can you just make more room in the house? Can we like restorage stuff? Because don't you feel like you do that a lot? You go through your stuff and then you like restorage it. And then you say, well, if this has been away for so long, why do I even need this anymore? But for some reason, you still need it. <laughs> like I have a lot of purses. And that's another thing, too. He's bought me a bunch of purses, too. And after a while, it's like, no, I still, I love my purses. So don't not buy me purses. But it's like, after a while, it's like, okay, I should maybe get rid of this one. But I'm like, no, but it has this memory. And then, oh, I don't know. And give this. <laughs> and then sometimes I go to Breezy and then it comes back to me. And the same thing with her. She'll pass something to me and then I'll pass. And it just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> and what did you say, Film Buzz? You think a thousand? Okay. All right. We'll go with that. And can I type in Jordy a niche and good morning to you. Don't start with that again. Come on now. And Tyler's like, I'm asking for the people that, that can understand Chinese in here. Well, they, they might write back or they might've already left because some people come in just to say good morning and then they got to start their day. Okay. And what happened? You said, Ed, they are a broken robot, loses their arm parts, haunted, haunted, a haunted robot. Oh, my God, that'd be crazy. With no arms? <laughs> oh, no, does somebody have daddy issues? Oh, no. Okay. And your guess is looking better, better, and better. Keep it up, guys. Keep those guesses coming. What do you think? The average household, how much does it hold? All right. And once for you, Anish, you, you know I would, but we don't look on. Um, we already seen what you wanted us to look up, and that's not what we want to look up. And especially it's not even time to look up stuff. But remember, you have been warned. I, I do have kids. Okay. It's like purses are not my issue, but backpacks now we have that issue. Oh my God, I have backpacks too. You know what does it for me for being in this entertainment world and having this career for a while? You get invited to parties. You also do a lot of events. I've done a lot of events. I've been invited to a lot of events and you take back things from these events. <laughs> That's why it's always good when they're giving you like samples of food and stuff because that will be eaten. But like trinkets and pens, oh my God, forget about the pens. <laughs> Every time you go to an event, you know you're getting a pen and keychains. And I'm trying to think of other stuff. Um, frisbees and bags, bags. That's what made me think about it. You get book bags and you get the string bags. Everybody gives you a bag and then you just accumulate all these bags. But let me tell you, I have used a lot of bags for a lot of stuff. And it's good because it gets wear and tear and then they rip and then you're like, okay, I got another one. But yes, it's like backpacks. Is your whole closet just full of backpacks? <laughs> and and what did you say, Tyler? You said, I just want to know what we're doing. Stuff in our house. Like, think about your house, Tyler. Think about all the things that you have. Think about it. And not just you. Anybody in your household. Or even if it's just, let's say, you have an apartment. Because I don't know everybody's living situations. Think about when you lived with your parents back in the day, think about that house and think about all the stuff. Oh my God, and business cards. I just thought about that one. I have a lot I was going through the other day. I was like, yeah, I don't think I need this one anymore. Or I'm looking up places and I'm like, is this still in business? Because if not, I don't really need it. <laughs> and if a phone number is like, this phone number doesn't exist. And it's like, yeah, I don't know about that anymore. And... It's like, sounds like any trade events, a lots of swag. Oh my God. Yes. And especially, and then when you actually live in Vegas, oh my God, <laughs> before Corona, it's like everywhere you go, they do some kind of sampling thing. <laughs> and some things are great. Some things come in handy right away. And then some things you get and you have like this big bag of crap and you're like, why do I have this? But for some reason you can't part with the crap yet. <laughs> And do I have any new Hollywood assignments? No, not right at this time. 
I did get another message from the Screen Actors Guild saying they're still working on precautions and they sent a bunch of notices out of people not to work with because they're not following those uh, cautions for the Rona. But otherwise, nothing right now, sweetie. It's, it's very slow out there. It also gets slow, too, when the holidays come around as well. Sometimes if Rona wasn't going around, they might do like last minute little commercials here and there, little clips and movies. But otherwise, it's, it's very, very slow in the entertainment world. And can I play a song for you? But what song would you like to hear? Because remember, there's copyrights here on the YouTube. So it might have to be a sing-along. <laughs> and acapella style. Okay, and you're talking to Tyler. Wonderful. And Woody, please, for our friendship, please, for our friendship, I ask you. I don't want to look at any adult sites. Thank you. All right. Now, guys, keep thinking. What do you think? Average household. Think about it. Even if you don't want to think about your house, think about somebody else's house. Think about a friend's house that you went to and you looked in their house like, damn, you guys own a lot of stuff. <laughs> and what did you say, Ed? Looks like someone might be an inside person for Bonnie to star in Bollywood. I'll do it. You got a part. Just, just make sure. It just make sure that, you know, it is, it is within uh, the Screen Actors Guild jurisdictions, man. I don't want to mess that up. I've been since uh, in SAG since 2001. It's 19 years, man. That's a long time. So I definitely don't want to bend any rules. And Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, right when you said that, you made me think of do 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 do. <laughs> the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy Company B. Do 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 do. <laughs> there you go. And you want my daughter's safety. My daughter always has safety when she's with her family. I'm not worried. All right. Film Buzz says 5,000 maybe. Okay. Anish. Now, yes, she is. She's very gay and happy. As far as a lesbian, no, she's definitely not. Are you eligible for SAG? I don't know. You have to find out. And good morning to you, Blade. You have her video. Okay. I must try my luck in Bollywood. <laughs> and look at those bums losing the hockey game. Oh, are you watching? Are you? And I don't, Mr. Triple Zero, I have no idea what that means. I wish, and you know what, YouTube, listen to this. It would be nice if you could do like a translation in my chat. That would be awesome. Then I'd be able to see all languages. Empress says he has 10,000 just in the living room. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like we have 10,000 just in our bedroom. Because with just all of um, the remodeling and stuff with everything, I'm still like slowly putting things away. And we boxed up so much stuff, especially like with the bathroom. When the bathroom was getting done, it was like, oh my God. I pulled out so much stuff and I was like, because I've also like when I like to make my little stuff for my baths and stuff and my little natural stuff that I do, I like to have it in glass. But before that, I, I was keeping some stuff in plastic. And, you know, when like you use like a, a good lotion or a good shampoo and, and you're like, oh, I want to use I can reuse that. So I would save it. And I had bottles. I'm like, I don't need this crap anymore. I already bought the glass. So it's funny sometimes when you go through your stuff, would you actually see and you're like. I thought I threw that away. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I have a lot of? I have so many freaking makeup bags and like little, like little, I guess you'd say change purses too. Cause sometimes things come with that. Like you'll buy a new set and then it comes with it or you get them for presents. And it's just like, Oh my God, I was going through that with my bathroom stuff. Cause also my little travel bag. When I used to travel a lot, I would put like all my, my stuff together and, and even I, they call it a makeup bag. It's not like I put makeup in it. It was more like, I mean, I had some makeup. I used to do my eyeliner, just mascara now. Um, but I would put like, you know, my travel stuff, like my oils, my stuff for the bath, you know, your face wash, all that good stuff, your lotions. And I put it in like the little travel size bottles and stuff. And I have so many of those little travel cases. And like some of them are like, I saw one just yesterday. I'm like, damn, that, that one's really old. When the leather starts coming off, it's time to throw it out. 
I was like, that definitely got a lot of wear and tear on it. And remember, if you guys say something that it's just like, why did you say that? I'm just going to ignore it. Because, I mean, come on. Some stuff that you guys are asking, it's kind of silly. And some of this stuff is regenerating. Yes, it is, Bruce. Sometimes you can, you can like, take something off it or put something else on, and it's, like, brand new. <laughs> and... And what did you say, Ed? You said, I like the clear makeup bag for my tools. Yeah, see? Perfect. And see, that would be like a, a regeneration of something. Because like, let's say you're going on a trip, right? And it's just a road trip. And you want to take some snacks. A makeup bag is great for that. Because <laughs> you know it's not going to rip like a plastic bag. Or how about your car bag? Oh my God, just think about what's in your trunk. Do you have a really, really like big trunk and have stuff in it? We're pretty good with that. I do have like a little bag and then I have um, like the roadside assistance bag that has the flare and the jumper cables and all that stuff. And then also like another bag that has like, just in case of anything you have, you know, you have like a water, um, like an extra fuse or stuff. You know what I mean? You could put those bags for that too. Come in very handy. <laughs> or those drawstring uh, backpacks have like a blanket too because you never know if you go somewhere and you get stuck on the road and it gets really cold. It's nice to have a blanket in the car. <laughs> and, or an umbrella, which a lot of people don't have, which I have to think. I'm wondering if the umbrella is in the car. <laughs> I think I have taken that out. And... And what'd you say, Ashley? Good morning to you. You said, can I say hi to Bob? Hello, Bob. Good morning to you, sweetie. So give you the number already? Are you sure? Are you sure you're ready for it? <laughs> he He's not up yet. That's where my husband is right now. Um, My health, my health is a lot better. Films, I'm just still... I still feel the congestion. I do still get nausea and dizzy after a while when I exert myself a little too much. Um, I still can't quite smell things the way I did before and things don't taste the same that they did before either. But otherwise my health is, my health is good. And Jamie, good morning to you. And thank you for asking, sweetie. Okay. Are we ready for the answer? And Justin, good morning to you. Here it goes. Dun, 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 dun. The average household has how many things, you guys are wondering? Well, it says right here, hold on. It says 300,000 things. Holy crap. Oh my God. And Bruce, that's how your mom sounds too. Yeah, it is. It's some people will get the, you know, prolonging effects and we don't know how long it's going to be. And then some people might not get anything. They just feel a lot better. And it's just like, it was just a sickness and it's done. So this Rona really does suck. And that's why guys, please keep your masks on. Do let's put it the right way. No, I did have it the right way. Yeah. Keep your masks on, do your social distancing. Don't go to the store unless you absolutely have to. If you're doing work from home, great. But don't do those extra trips if you don't have to do it because the numbers are spiking right now and it's not safe out there. So just be careful, guys. Well, Jose, good morning to you. I guess I say it in the nicest way then. Fuck you, too. That might be the way you say hello. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Justin. I appreciate that. All right. But that's a lot of that is a lot of damn things. Three hundred thousand. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. But you know what? You can do the virtual thing for your trip. Because she's going to turn the big nine. That I mean, that's huge. You can still do it. Do the video chat with all, all the family. Thank God we have technology like that. We can do that. Because that is sad. That is really sad. What did you say, Danny? On the west side of town, Bonnie gets you the Rona? What, what are you talking about? I don't have it anymore. I just have the, the prolonging effects. No, I'm definitely not positive. I can be around people. I still keep my distance unless I don't know who, who has Rona, who hasn't. 
but it's so nice to know that I'm not going to give it to anybody anymore. I felt so bad, but like, like just having it, I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to be in the house forever. But whatever it takes, man, I don't want to spread it. Isn't that mask awesome? Yes. The wake the hell up mask. I put it over the Steeler one, but you can order the wake the hell up mask right there in the link. And if you guys do want a Steeler mask, you can go to PGH Ron or you can hit me up on the Facebook. Let me know here and then I'll send you to PGH Ron because his his uh, his peoples, they are making them out in the Pittsburgh. No, Jose, not Raiders country. Whatever. Look, even though it came to Vegas, they can say Vegas all they want. But you know what I see? When I drive around, I see bumper stickers of Steelers. I don't see much Raiders. You know what I see a lot of? The Golden Knights, the Black and Golden Knights that we've renamed them. That's what I see a lot of. And Potato, Potato Gaster, good morning to you, sweetie. I know, Bruce, it's not the same. You just want to hug your mom. I feel you. I want to see my mom so bad, too. But it's just not the time right now. So we got to do what we can do. At least we do have the technology. We can, we can see their faces and not just hear them. And did somebody say rice? I don't think so. Okay, where am I from, Justin? I am originally from New York, but I now reside in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> and said so they must be counting individuals grain of rice to get to 300K. Oh my God, I know. What households do they go into? That feels like everybody should be on um, the hoarder show. That's so much damn items. I definitely wouldn't want to sit there and count everything I <laughs> own. But I know it's definitely in the thousands. If you well, if you if somebody understands the Cantonese, you guys can triple zero. And and what did you say, Danny? You said no. I said living on the west side town gets you Rona. Does it? I don't. I, I don't know about that because it was the contractors that that got it and, and gave it to me, and they didn't do it on purpose. So at least I know I didn't accumulate it. I knew exactly where I got it. Thank God. So it wasn't like tracing, like, oh, my God, where was I? What did I do? And Jose, you're you're in California? And Justin, you too? Nice. I lived in California for a while when I moved from New York first. Okay. But it has some more stuff here. So hold on. Let me see. More to this link, and then we'll find, wake the hell effect number two. But it says right here with this link, it says, whether you've been inspired by Marie Kondo or not, you probably still have close to a third of million items in your home. One report found the average, the average house has around 300,000 things in it. Yes, we like stuff. Lots of stuff. Oh my God. I don't think it's that high, is it really? Holy crap. Ed said, okay, zero, zero thousands of anything is a huge pile of stuff. If you started counting right now, it would take you more than 24 hours to count to 300,000, right? I know. Should we just pick one room? Should we do this? <laughs> I should do this for fun later. Pick one room in your house and count every single item. <laughs> so let's say you can't find something on Netflix and you're bored. There you go, guys. I got something to do. Or you know how they say count the lambs? You know, count the sheep going by or count the ceiling when you're when you're trying to fall asleep. How about count the things in your room? <laughs> oh, my God. But then you'd have to open up the drawers. It's like if you don't open the drawers in your dresser and nightstand, you'd be OK. <laughs> That's where all the hidden junk is. <laughs> and a mood song. Can you listen? What kind of mood song? I can listen later. I could like pretend it's playing in my head because I don't want to get a copyright on the YouTube. <laughs> Are you challenging Ed? You're like, you couldn't even count all your stuff. <laughs> and what'd you say, Potato? He says, does anyone have a PayPal you would like to help and would like to help start a channel and so be inspired by this channel and you want to start your own with your own merch? Nice. Well, Get the, get the channel started. You, it doesn't cost you anything to start your channel. It's all the other crap like we're talking about that you accumulate along the way. <laughs> but just start your channel. You can do it. 
we what do you and what would you want to do on your channel think about what you want to do and just do it and your question your question's not rude you were just saying it you're like does anyone have a paypal i think pretty much everyone has a paypal nowadays <laughs> and would you say it's like bruce every collection has a limit unless you are talking about the universe <laughs> Well, I can tell you one thing. It always comes in this house, man. Steelers stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. I appreciate that. All right. So we ready to find. Actually, I want to hear what Bigsby has to say. I'm kind of curious. That is a hell of a fact, man. You ever really think about how much crap we have? <laughs> yes, Jose. Yes, Steelers. That's my team. It, as you see, a lot of people here, that's their team as well. Ha ha. No boo. You can't, you can't deny that we are the only team left that is undefeated. You can't deny that. So boo to you. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. Let's see what Bigsby has to say. Bigsby, what's the average household of items? Or should I say number of items? Yeah. Big speak. What is the amount of household items of an average? Nope, she's going into income. That's not what I was asking. And why isn't Bigsby talking to me? Why isn't she talking to me? She doesn't like me. What's going on this morning? Did I turn her down? No, Bigsby's up. Okay. Big speak. Good morning. Morning, the winner of Maxim Magazine 2020. Oh, I like that. Remember, we saw the phone program. <laughs> Definitely didn't win, but that was nice to hear. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out how to program her again. But for right now, Big Speak, can you tell me the average number of things that we have in our household? What are you looking for? What is the average number of stuff that we accumulate in our household actually that device couldn't be found okay forget it bigsby's not that smart today <laughs> and what did you say let's hear it for the browns just figured they needed the representation <laughs> you made a funny <laughs> here's how you would know how much stuff you have Move. Oh my God. I know. Or, or remodel just one little area in your house. And you see just in that one area. Oh my God. Yes, Jose. I do live in Las Vegas and I do not support the Raiders. I support the fact that they moved here. Wonderful. Thank you. Because now my Steelers will eventually come here and play. And I thank you for that. Cause we'll have the NFL out here, but that's it. Nothing else. Sorry. Raiders, not my team. <laughs> Alexa isn't dumb. Well, she's dumb sometimes, but she's not here. We're talking to Bigsby right now. <laughs> Do I like old songs? I like all different kinds of songs. But yes, I would find myself in more of the old song category for sure. And, and what did you say, Ed? You said the most amazing picture of Google Earth is nighttime in Dahlia. Yes, I've seen that. It is beautiful. Or Diwali. I, I knew what you mean. <laughs> and Lagshay, good morning to you. Oh, Jose, I'm going to give you a warning that you don't ask here. So I'm going to remove that. You have been warned. Okay, please don't catch a block. You said Elvis Presley, don't be cruel. I, well, I think everybody's heard that, but that wouldn't be something I would just turn on in the house, <laughs> get my Elvis on. That, 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 not so much. And tomorrow to tomorrow is Diwali. Yeah, is it? Okay. So now let's find our second wake the hell up fact of the day here. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Let's see, something else that you guys have no clue whatsoever and you want to learn because <laughs> I know today made you think about 
I think I need to do some more spring cleaning again or call it the winter cleaning, the fall cleaning because it's cold now. I should try a collab. Okay. And what did you say, Tamid? You said, imagine in a hut as a night operator, like in a hut, but with curtains and robots. They come and open the curtains. What would you do? Um, well, it depends. Do they look like they're friendly? Did they open the curtain like, like abruptly? Or did they do it nicely? They're saying hello? It depends, because I would be friendly. And then I would be like, next time it would be nice to say, you know, like a little shake because you can't really knock on a curtain. So I just like kind of shake the curtain because if the curtain's closed, it could be closed for a reason. You're telling me it's a hut. Maybe my bathroom is right there too, right? Give me some privacy, damn it. <laughs> it is always a happy day when we're all here together. It could be happy bond day, but that's usually on Monday, the start of the week, but I'll let it be up to you guys. All right. Now, let's find something. Let's see. Let's see. Well, actually, let's do this. Since we're talking about some stuff, and we all got a lot of stuff. Mm, excuse me. Let me take some water here or some of my tea. And we're speaking of stuff. I said you guys can get rid of stuff. You can give stuff to less unfortunate people. You can pass it down to some relatives and stuff that you have, or you can sell it, right? So that's what's going to get here, this link. I think I got wake the hell up fact number two. So if you wanted to sell your items, okay, there's a place called eBay. We've heard, all heard of that place, right? All right. What do you think was the first item sold on eBay? So think about eBay and think about all the things they have sold. But I can't even think when eBay came out. When did he? It was probably like in the 1990s something, I think. Yeah, I'm almost positive it was like the 1990s. But what do you think the first item was sold on eBay? Okay. I'm just going to put this one out here because it's the first thing that came to my brain. Because remember, that's how we do this. Don't think too hard. And remember, no cheating. I'm going to say a game. Because I feel like game trading and game selling, I'm thinking that's, that's what it was. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling strong with it. And that's, I'm locking in my answer. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think it is? And what do you say, Tamid? If, if you was a night operator, you would close the curtains and hope, and nope, you will be brave, Bonnie. Of course, always brave, always. But you know what I was thinking too? I was thinking when you said about the curtain, for some reason, it, I was thinking of the Wizard of Oz movie when they interrupt the wizard and he was like, you know, he was obviously talking and, and they seen who he was and they were like, you're not a powerful wizard. But that's what I was thinking of. Like they interrupted him. Like they just went behind the curtain. Hello, Bella. Hello, my princess. You want me to just sit here and fetch you? Okay. <laughs> and imagine a hut as an operator, okay, with a bunkie and in the bunker, I mean, and in the bunker with a remote control door and with a haunted broken part robot. What would you do? Okay, well, is it a nice haunted? <laughs> is it a bad haunted? <laughs> Oh my God, a haunted broken part robot. That would freak me out. It, yep, I definitely would. I'd have to say violence isn't the answer, but when it comes to that, I would get a bat and try to beat up that broken part even more. <laughs> oh, Justin, and I love you. Come here, guys, everyone. Ugh. Oh, and mwah, mwah. don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Come here. Come here. I love you too, but you don't want to love me. You don't want to love the family either. You don't want to say, I love you. Oh, you do. Oh, oh, she does. Oh, no. <laughs> she wants to tease you guys. That's what she wants to do. Dogs need to get pet. I know a lot. Oh, look at this. Look what she just brought. She's like, play with me. Play with me. Play with me. Okay. <laughs> you make me hit myself in the head. 
<laughs> a bat? Well, the robot will kill you. Uh, why would you say that? How do you know? I'm a strong female, man, and I got a good swing. I'll get that bat good. What you talking about? <laughs> okay, Jose. That I told you, I've warned you now. It is time not only to remove that comment, but you have now got a bye, Felicia. So don't let this hit your ass in the way out. Quote Mia. Some people just don't learn sometimes. Okay. And all dogs will always want to play. You think? <laughs> oh, my God. She, I know she is. She is. That's how she is, man. But you know what's funny, though? She actually did give me the rope. I told you a lot of times she'll go like this. And like this. <laughs> oh, and you just... You just keep coming back, huh? Hold on a second. And Hydra Speed. I mean, Hydra Gaming. Sorry. I seen you say Net Speed. Good morning to you, sweetie. All right. There we go. Like I said, some people get the bye, Felicia. I don't like you. Oh, see, now she's doing it. She's not giving me her rope. JR. Good morning to you, sweetie. Hello. What time is it over here? It is 8.17 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's what time it is. All right, but we're on our second Wake the Hell Up fact. What do you think? Remember, first thing that pops in your brain. What do you think the first item on eBay was that was sold? What do you think it was? And remember, don't think too hard. And you know it's a great way to also sell your things, too, if you don't want to do the eBay? Just put it out on a garage sale. But remember, keep keep your distancing. Maybe actually a garage sale wouldn't be really a good choice because sometimes you can get like a million people that would come, right? Depending on the area that you live. What's my net speed? I have no clue. I, I, I mean, I have the highest speed I can possibly have. That's what I do know. I forgot what it was, though. And are you looking in my eyes? <laughs> well, it is always, always a happy day. Like I said, guys, when you're all hanging out here and we're having a party, it's always a party, man, with the wake the hell up family. Oh, Bella agrees. Okay, Ed's going with a book. You think that would be the first item ever? That's a good one. I think that was Amazon because Amazon used to be a bookstore, but, but it could have been inspired. That could be it. Justin, there's so many. I can't just name one. I really can't. It just means like it depends on the mood. It depends what's going on. Depends what I'm feeling. And yep, eBay. That's what we're talking about, Tamed. Why am I hearing a ticking? It's not a clock. It's like, what is that noise? I don't know. It sounds weird. I'm like, is the TV on? <laughs> Somebody have the TV on and I hear it. It's like not a knock though. Could be from a TV. I don't know. And put a butter... Put a butter on Bella so Bella is a butter dog. I don't want to put butter on my dog. <laughs> Just any, I don't know. I can't think right now. Remember, I'm slowly waking the hell up with you guys. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When um just just uh what was it? Well, last week too, the game, I mean the game, the song that came right to my head was I feel good or it feels good. James Brown, when we did it again, did it again, Steelers. Because <laughs> it just kept popping in my brain. I mean, my brain. I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and Velocity. Well, hello. Good morning to you. Am I the best? I'm wicked. Oh, Nightbot didn't like that. Nightbot's like, no, she's not wicked. Again, Fiaz, I'm sorry, but Nightbot thinks that you're posting links, and I know you're not. 
Oh, thank you, Seth. I appreciate that. You're like, can we shout out Massa Willie? But no, keep the Massa Willies away. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your donation, sweetheart. And, and what did you say? What are you doing if you found a woman like you with the same face? What would I do? I'd be like, what do you do? It would be interesting to know what their career is. And it would be kind of cool because I'd be like, all right, guess what? I'm in the business. You want to be my body double? <laughs> you want to learn some stunts and have some fun? You want to play a trick on some people? It would be like having a twin. I think that's kind of cool. As long as they don't steal my, my, my job, then we're good. <laughs> And you're like, you said my name wrong. Well, it would not be the, the first time that I do that, sweetie. Don't take any offense. So it's Felicity. Felicity. I thought I said Felicity. Wait, Felicity. I said that right. Does everybody else pronounce your name wrong? Is that why? Which usually I do. So <laughs> yeah. See, I got it. I had it right. And what'd you say, Justin? You said, Haley really likes my channel. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good morning to you, Haley. All right. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribed. If you haven't hit that thumb button, hit that thumbs button up. Remember, commercials will come in and out during the show, not just for me, other YouTubers, unless you're a premium member. So please do not skip those commercials. At least wait 30 seconds. Thank you. And remember, and thank you again to Seth for doing a donation. You can always donate right below. There's the little money sign. You can pick what you want to do. You can do the super chat or super sticker. And don't forget the links up there to get your merchandise. Wake the hell up, fam. Get your merchandise. Show off, especially the first item that you should get is the mask. Wake the hell up. Think about the message that you tell people without saying anything. And it is pronounced mess of willy. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, think about it again. But again, don't think too much. What do you think the first item on eBay that was sold? What do you think it was? It's going to be interesting when we find this one out. And I know you guys have been wanting to learn this. <laughs> now pretty much they sell everything on eBay, right? You can literally put anything up there and sell it. But what do you think that first item that went for sale? And those nights, a ritual? Okay. Not scary if you're a woman. Wait, you're not scary if a woman's still your husband of your... Well... Still, did you mean still or you mean steal? Because I know autocorrect, it's their fault. It's totally autocorrect. Um, I already know that my man would know me. Even if there was a twin, you still know. Because like, I've been around twins before. And you still, if you actually know them and you hang out with them, you, you, can, you can know which one's which. You just can't. It's personality. Like they're, they're different in some way and you would know that. And what did you say, Ed? Celebrating Diwali started over 2,500 years ago. The Festival of Lights has all the roads lit by lanterns all night to celebrate the victory of good over evil. Oh, cool. Just thinking about that and all the lanterns. Yes, beautiful. There's just something about looking at just like when you have like a bunch of lights and stuff. I think that's why I like also people probably like the holidays too because things get like all lit up, you know? You either have your memorial, I mean, you have, um, uh, what the hell is it called for Hanukkah? The menorah. You got lights and people light things up. You got the Christmas tree. You just got like just the lights. And it just does make things look pretty. And you know what? One thing I've always learned, my mom's always told me, it's like surround yourself in beautiful white lights always, especially when you feel like, like there's bad energy or like, as you say, like evil or something, you always put those lights and it always makes you feel like you're in a brighter place, right? Because think about when you watch the horror movies, it's always like the dark. Oh my God, watch out for the dark, right? So it's like you put that light on and it's not that scary anymore. And it's like you feel a lot better. And handguns are power they're powerful. Well, they are. But so is it depends. 
There's a lot of things that are powerful. And Wick, well, hello. Good morning to you. And this is our good morning to you, sweetie. You just got here, and right now you're putting you're putting up the tree. Oh my God, that is a very big coincidence. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It isn't, isn't it crazy sometimes we do talk about stuff that it's like that's happening right now. And Wick, to answer your question, I have been in the entertainment business for a while. You can Google me. I'm very Googleable. <laughs> and a cookie. Oh, cookie. Are you trying to tempt us all right now with some cookies? Oh, my God. You just had me think of a moment right now when you were talking about putting up your Christmas tree. I just thought about a time when I was growing up and we were really, really poor and we made, we made um, the Christmas like our own tinsel or our own, is that what you call it when you wrap it around the tree and we made it out of popcorn. I always think about it. You want to talk about like just to make you put a smile on your face and think about that memory. I'll ne I remember that because I remember my mom's like, stop eating the popcorn. It's for the tree. <laughs> but it was so cool to look at the tree and know that we did that. It was like, you see the stores and it's like, we can't afford that. We can't afford that. But it was like, this actually looks better than what they had in the store, man. And we did it. Felt so arts and crafty. <laughs> and what did you say, Ed? And there are billions you said there are over a billion Indian lighting up in Diwali. That's why the Google Earth image of Diwali at night is so spectacular. So it's like that would put you in a happy place. Always looking at all those beautiful lights. And this is art. It's like it's a small tree, but it's got a lot of light and color. It doesn't matter. It's just a beautiful tree. I used to have... Um, when I lived in Cali, I used to have a little one just in the bedroom that, that Breezy and I decorated with like a bunch of M&Ms and stuff. <laughs> I had that for a while and then finally it got old. It was like, okay, it's time, it's time to give this away. But, but that's cool. And sometimes people don't like the big trees. You like just a little one and it's a lot easier to take down. <laughs> You're like fake tree, but a lot of character. Exactly. But you know what? We have a fake tree too. I have the, uh, the big fake tree and I like it because I can keep it up all year round and I don't have to worry about it, it dying on me. And then it makes me smile when I look at it. It makes me think of those happy, those happy holiday moments with my family. And what about MP5s? I don't know what you're talking about. You talking to me, Timmy? You're talking to somebody else. And what'd you say, Ali? Are you believe in soulmate? Like soulmates? I do believe in that. Yes, I do. And honey? Oh, put some honey in it. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and what'd you say? This is art. You use forest camouflage fabric to wrap around the bottom and it works so good. Oh, that's a good idea. And that will look cool too. And, and and this is art's like good morning by the way to you all yes thank you sweetie and Hank good morning to you your first Super Bowl was Super Bowl ten Steelers versus cow I like to call them the cowgirls and you still like the Steelers but you're mostly a Cardinals fan well, that's okay you still you still like the Steelers so thank you for that yes but how did you go from the Steelers to a Cardinals how did that switch happen. And Mr. Frankie, well, we'll shout out Mr. Frankie. <laughs> All right, a lot more of you have joined. So I'm going to give it to you once more, and then we're going to look it up. Remember, no cheating. It's the first thing that pops in your brain. And we're talking about wake the hell up fact number two. What do you think the first item on eBay was that sold? And it was a mistake, Tamid. Okay, so then forget Mr. Frankie. <laughs> and a headbang, Lucas. I'll do a slow one because I definitely don't want, and that would definitely get me dizzy. That would be like exerting myself. But I know how Lucas likes when I say, good morning to you. How's that? And you got a hair flick. <laughs> 
Mustard Seed Productions. Good morning to you. It's so nice to see you, Elliot and Linda. Good morning. Yes, a happy, healthy, and a great morning to everybody. Thank you. And what did you say, Ali? He said, excuse me, today I'm mistaken a lot of writing because of the fever. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Just the fact that we, we know you're here, even if you can't write with us, sweetie. And we put a lot of positive energy that you get better soon. And also while we are, let's not forget Mia. Mia is still suffering from the coronavirus, and she's stuck in Canada right now. And, and what did you say? Okay, Mustard Seed Production thinks it's a Barbie doll or a Pez dispenser. Ooh, I didn't think about that. That's a good one. Okay. And we will, Ed. So just remind me when I creep on you in a little bit. I will look that up and we can see all the beautiful lights in Diwali. And we can see that. And it's cool. It's night from space. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. All right. Any more guesses? What do you think? What are you thinking, guys? What do you think it is? And what do you say to me? You need help. You're buying clothes. And hurry up and come over here with just a soup. You only get soup. Are, are you trying to bribe somebody? You're like, I'll give you soup if you help me with the clothes. <laughs> well, especially with the cold water, soup is a great idea. You know, it's a good idea, too, what I was talking about yesterday. TJ brought it up. He's like, I want some hot cocoa. And I was like, open the cabinet. It's right there. He's like, oh, my God. I was like, yep, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. <laughs> I said hot cocoa is one of those things in this house we definitely always have. That and a lot of tea choices. <laughs> All right. But what do you think? Think about something else on eBay. What do you think that first thing was sold on eBay? And what did you say, Lucas? You said, it's a good day for a headbang. And you are a crazy girl. <laughs> well, I gave you what I could do, sweetie. I told you when I exert myself too much, then I, I kind of get lightheaded and I feel a little like nauseous. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So please, please forgive me in advance. All right, guys. So think about something else. Okay. You know what just came to my brain? How about a computer? Yeah. Because I feel like electronics were always the thing that people either want to trade or they wanted to sell. So I'm thinking maybe it was a computer. And what was the problem with Fias? Not Fias just just uh, writes a lot and it looks like he's posting links. So Nightbot doesn't like that. And BTS, well, good morning to you. You you will, you can ask me something and sometimes I might have an answer for you and then sometimes it depends what you're asking. And Foodie World, well, hello to you. What a great name. You know we love food here. And Jamie, the United Kingdom is out of recession. That sounds like great news and good morning to you, sweetie. All right. Any other ideas? Because we're going in. Where am I now? I am in a place called Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where I am. And that's in the United States. Oh, you retracted your message. You didn't have to. I understood it. And remember, for any reason you think that I might not understand it, just write something else again because it's autocorrect. It's not you. All right. But let's find out what the answer is for this eBay question. What was the first item that was sold on eBay? See what it was. It says right here, the first item sold on eBay was a broken laser pointer. And it was broken? Really? Buyer beware, as they say. Thankfully, buyer Mark Fraser was apparently aware of the fact he was getting a broken laser pointer when he purchased it for $14.83 from eBay's founder, Pierre Amadiar, in 1995. Hey, at least I knew it was in the 1990s. Well, that's crazy. Okay, well, at least they, did, they didn't screw him over because it is nice if you're selling something because you never know. Somebody might want something broken because they can fix it themselves. And yes, hello again to you. What, baby? I thought it was over. 
last time I thought it was right over here because I just saw it before. Nope. nope. <laughs> then maybe she has it. Maybe it was upstairs then. And hilarious about the first item on eBay, right? And it was something broken. <laughs> and then that's what started eBay. And Mr. Hernandez, good morning to you, sweetie. Are you hungover? Well, make sure that you're drinking plenty, plenty of liquid hydration. You got some water, put that in your system. You'll feel a lot better. Aw, thank you, BTS. I appreciate that. I love you too. But you said so much, you know, and so much. You family know, I do. And what'd you say, Ed? You said the fella selling was testing the eBay platform that he designed. Pretty cool. I mean, that's the way you're going to do it, right? <laughs> How are you going to know? And what did you say, Allie? The first item listed on eBay was a broken laser. Oh, now you want to just, you want to put it out there. It was on Labor Day weekend in 1995. Well, thanks for the extra. And it was a computer programmer. Oh, meat Arter wrote the code for what he called an experiment, and he wanted to know what would and what would sell. See, you guys are just too smart. It happened if everyone in the world had access to a single global marketplace, which is which is so awesome how we can be connected, man. The internet really is a beautiful thing, and then in some ways it is a bad thing, but there's always good and the bad, right? We just focus on the good. All right, guys, because what do I like to say? Be positive and tune out the negative. All right, now, what are we going to find for wake the hell up fact number three? What's going to top those first two, man? Because <laughs> this one, this one has to be, it has to be the one that you've just been, oh, my God, that's all you think about. You barely could sleep last night you were thinking about this. Okay, let's see. What is it going to be? I'm going to find it. And it's crazy when you look up facts because we've learned so much. There's so much stuff that I'm like, no, we talked about that one already. Hmm. Let's see. What can we find? Hmm. <laughs> Bella's, Bella wants a treat. <laughs> All right, let's see. No, not that one. Mm. Let's see. See how about no, I'm not really liking that one either. Um... Oh, this is kind of funny. I was just gonna say I was gonna look up some fear words because we always seem to find those interesting and we don't really know. Well, this one already sounds like something I'm like, uh, I'm already thinking in the fear of like tarantulas and daddy long legs, because listen how it sounds. What is this? The fear of a racket boot <laughs> booty trophobia. <laughs> I know I think I'm totally pronouncing that wrong, but. It's spelled A-R-A-C-H-I-B-U-T-Y-R-O and then phobia, P-H-O-B-I-A. So pronouncing that, it's like a racket butt triophobia. <laughs> I don't know. The first thing that came to my mind, because it seems like the butt is in there. I'm going to say somebody that has the fear of a fart. I'm thinking, I'm putting it out there. I, I don't know. Cause I don't want to think it has to do with anything like daddy long legs, but it definitely starts out like that. What do you think it's the fear of? 
Iraqi butt triphobia. <laughs> and good morning, Joshua. Ellie's like, I can give you some facts. Yeah, but then it's not fun. I got to find it because then you would know. I want stuff that not any one of you know. And that's always the challenge because I told you guys, you're so smart. And remember, no going into Google. No talking to those devices. Not even whispering to a brother or sister, family member. No. <laughs> And that's a good one. But remember, put SP. Don't put the word, but fear of SP bums. <laughs> so it's not the actual daddy long leg that you're afraid of. It's you're afraid of their asses. <laughs> okay. All right. Right? Don't you think it has to do with something of a bum? Something of a booty? <laughs> Maybe because it's starting like an A, maybe it could be an ant booty. <laughs> you see an ant and you're like, it's okay, I see the front. Oh my God, but not the back, not the back. <laughs> or maybe in general, maybe it is just somebody scared of somebody's butt. So they can ch check, check this out. You can walk in a crowd. Okay. You can walk in a crowd, but then when they turn around, you can't see them because you're scared of the backside. <laughs> All right, hold on. My man's texting me. What does he want? Oh, um, uh, okay. Okay, you have an answer. <laughs> Ding, that's kind of cool. That's how we see how fast you get my decks. <laughs> what else do you guys think? The word. Arachibutrophobia or triphobia. Or no, or typhobia. Because T Y R. So <laughs> maybe that's silent. I don't know. But what do you think it's the fear? No, not you look because I also hold for other people. So I'm saying, do you see it in there? When you talk, you make your situation get a whole lot worse. <laughs> you should probably leave me alone. I was saying, if you, you discover more, absolutely not right now. <laughs> I'll take everything. No. no I'll so stop and me. Donald, good morning to you, sweetie. That's right. Wake the hell up. Tell the world. Is there more than four people in a room? You panic about possibility of passing gas. <laughs> what is up with your, and that's what, what is it up is. With your room today? I started it. It was me. Listen all to these, the word. All these poop up people. Everybody got, everybody got gas. <laughs> well, it's a, everybody got gas. Well, it's a good thing if they pass gas. We ain't going to smell it in here. <laughs> Jesus. Do we get the poupe spray? What is it? That friggin' thing that this called the I thought that was that shit was so funny when it came out. But baby, what is this called? You're pronouncing it wrong. It's not butt, it's boot. Boot? Like 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 Have boot. you heard it before? No, but I'm I'm listening to the way you spell it and it's not butt. I know, we're being funny. I can't really pronounce anything though. So Iraq give boots like, like Rophobia. I feel like it needs an accent. A wreck of boots. <laughs> All right. So the fear of somebody with boots. Somebody's So probably somebody that has a fear of boots. Definitely when it starts getting the fall time and the winter, they better stay at home. It looks very angry. What looks angry? <laughs> That's it. Poopery. <laughs> All right. What do you think it is, baby? What do you think it's the fear of? What would be your guess? Well, since you thought it was I've never boots. heard of the word, so I can't use, I can't use word association. I know. That's the whole point. It's just supposed to be the first thing when you hear that word. What do you to think? To me, it sounds like it has something to do with pants. Oh, okay. Because boot, I could see that. He's so smart. All right. We're going to go with the fear of plants. 
And good morning, Tez. Tez Buzzman. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You're a human. A human stick. Okay, well, well, good morning to you. All right. So what do you think? What is the fear of, and I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but it's, I'll go with what he said again. We'll try this one more time. Arach boots rophobia, but it's like, or it's booty. You see what I mean? There's a Y in there, man. Is the Y silent? I need to know. <laughs> but what is that a fear of? A R A C H I B U T Y R O P H O B I A. So we know it's a phobia, we know it's a fear, but we don't know what the fear of. And remember, no looking it up. Seth, are you new? You just subbed. You are not new, but are you new to the subscribe? <gasps> You haven't subscribed before? Okay. I guess you just made me really work really hard for it. <laughs> and thank you. And I really appreciate you again. Thank you for your donation, sweetheart. Okay. And we can call you Stick Boy or just Taz. I like Taz. Just Taz for short. And it makes it so much easier <laughs> for me. Thank you. All right, guys. But think, 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 think. And again, not too much. What do you think a fear that fear is? What are you thinking? And remember, it's our third one. And then you guys can share the stuff that you want to share. But what is it? What is it the fear of? It could be a fear of a massive willy. It totally could be. It's definitely a fear of something. You love your new phone. It's just, it's just the GIF can. Okay. Hey, whatever works for you works for me. Nobody is to judge. I have the Galaxy 10 S Plus Note, or however it's said. <laughs> And Donald, good morning to you. You said Max Magazine, Max, I can't even say it. Max and Magazine will be here before you know it and I'll be on the cover. Well, thank you for that. It's the fear of the stick boy. It could very well be. A fear of your uncle. It could be as well. You never know. How about just a fear of family? Somebody could have a fear of family. A fear of just certain siblings. Sim siblings. <laughs> I can't speak this morning. And good morning to you, Babo. The fear of doing a podcast with hair that looks like it's it's never seen a comb. Okay, that could be a fear of something too. It could very well be. Great guesses, guys. Great guesses. And don't forget, remember, your merchandise, the link is right up there. Get your Wake the Hell Up mask. And don't forget also those thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, Throw up that subscription while you're throwing up the thumbs up. You know what I mean? Press the button. <laughs> and search on YouTube, Poopery. Not right now. <laughs> when I creep on you guys, I will. And what'd you say about Big Ben Donald? You have pictures of him on the field at Miami University. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a vintage pick, man. Wake the hell up. Thank you, Wick. I needed a little extra. And I think some other people needed it too. So thank you. They're saying thank you as well. All right. But keep thinking. You're all picking some crazy, crazy guesses, which is wonderful. Whatever pops in your brain, the first thing you're thinking is what you should think that word is a fear of. So what would it be? The fear of what? Okay. Something just came to my brain right now. What about the fear of furniture? There could be somebody that comes into a house or walks into an office and gets scared. They get scared of furniture. There's a fear for everything out there, and we can't judge, judge somebody if they are. It's their fear, because sometimes there's history behind the fear. It's not so much that you've been born that way. It's something that might have happened that was like a, like a very tragic in your life, and then all of a sudden you got the fear. And what do you say, Taz? The fear of having me as a friend because I don't have any friends. 
Oh, well, don't feel like that. You are part of this wake the hell up family and that is higher than a friend. Stormy Daniels, Big Ben and you partied in Vegas. Lucky, lucky you rubbing it in and I didn't get the invite and I'm in Vegas. Okay, I guess this was like before I was here. <laughs> All right, but Keith, what about somebody, the fear of a party? There could be people that have a fear of just partying, which would be very, very sad because because you, you can always have a party, man, and you don't have to have a lot of people. But maybe it's the maybe it's more of um, the loudness because there is people that are scared of noise. It's just too loud for somebody, and that could be that. And remember, the word is Iraq Iraq boots. Rophobia, A R A C H I B U T Y R O P H O B I A. What do you think it is? I don't want to kill you, though. Remember, you don't want anybody to get killed at all. My mom would even be mad when I say that word. She's like, don't say it's killing me. Like, if you have a pain, you're like, oh my God, my head is killing me. Don't say that around my mom. She'll whack you with the, with the, what is it? The, the metal rake. And I know violence is the answer and that sounds so crazy, but you'd have to be tuning into the show for all to understand that one. But, but thank you. I, I understand what you mean in a nice way. The fear that you never get the Rona virus. It, it, it could be, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Maybe it could just be a virus in general. Cause I don't know if they would actually have that up in these facts, but could be, who knows? I just went on the internet in a place and I just find some stuff. You love my smile. Well, I appreciate it. And I love to smile. And you guys, my whole wake the hell up family, keep that smile bright on my face always. And I thank you always for that. And I tell you guys, even when you're not here, I still think about you guys and it makes me smile again. So thank you for that. That's what puts me through the weekend. And then of course, when it is, Football weekend, which is coming up this Sunday, where we're going to beat those bungles. We got them. <laughs> That's right. On the weekend, Sunday, man, 125 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is that game. So make sure you're tuning in. If you don't like football, even if you can tune in or just around that time zone, just be like Steelers. And even if you can't scream it, think it in your head. You'll be given that energy that we need. We need to go 9-0. and Stay undefeated. And what do you say, Donald? You're like, I told you the beginning of the year, Big Ben, said big things were happening this year. You remember me telling you that? I remember. I remember also me feeling that. I said when he comes back, he's going to come back even stronger than he was before. Yes, Zen, you know it. We are eight and oh, Steelers, Steelers, Steel oh no. I always do that, but I don't knock it on the floor. I just knock it, knock it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Sorry for that, <laughs> but at least it was behind me. So it was still in a good place. It was right here on my back. And you like Super Bowl helicopter flyovers. Okay, thank you for sharing, Tamed. You text him last week, and did you let him know that he got his big fan, Bonnie, out here in Las Vegas that's always rooting for him, no matter what? <laughs> that is so cool that you guys went to the same college. Very, very, very cool. And it's cool that he's still in touch with you, because some people act like they get too big and they can't. So that's really cool. And that makes me love Big Ben even more because I know I know he's that type of guy. He's a really nice guy. I just can't wait to eventually meet him and Tomlin. I want to meet Tomlin, the coach, so bad, too. I want to let him know if you ever hear screaming through the TV because <laughs> I know I'm loud. <laughs> I know he hears me sometimes. I'm in his ear. I'm like, no, no, let's do this. Ben, too. They're hearing me. You want to meet me? Well, Justin, when it gets that to that time, I'll let you know. Well, I'll tell you right now. If, if you can come out to Vegas, I will be at the South Point Casino, double masked up, rooting for my Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm usually in a booth right in the sports book. You'd be able to find me. 
but we will keep what we'll meet and we'll give our six feet distance. But I like to say we go the extra with the seven and you guys should figure out why if you don't know. So come on over to the South Point Casino this Sunday, guys. Now, remember, you have to be 21. It is a casino. It is the sports book. But if you're not and you can just like go right through because they'll be like, keep moving on the rug. You can be like, hi, I just wanted to say hi. And then I will get up and I will move to the rug with you past the place where you could be, not on the casino area to say hello. New York, yeah, then it's not going to be right now. <laughs> but it's like you'll be there. You'll, you'll still be at the South Point with me without being there this weekend. The fear of from Ghost Rider. It could be good one. And that's where I'm originally from. So eventually when this Rona calms down a little bit and I can travel, I will see my family and I'll let you guys know I'm in the East Coast. Come visit me somewhere. Maybe it'll be like at a restaurant. Meet me to eat. Maybe we'll get some pizza together. <laughs> you could always get me with food. That's for sure. And what, Donald? You're like, you're a celebrity. We won't be able to get close to you. Oh, but to a point, come on, you go, guys know I'm the realist. I would never be like, I'm not going to give you time unless I was like in a rush and doing something, but I'll still say hello. And that's why I'm telling you guys this weekend. So whoever can make it out here to Vegas, because I know Cali's not that far away. If you can come out, come support the Pittsburgh Steelers with me. Yes. And even if you are another team, I understand if you want to wear that jersey, represent that team, but you'll still be rooting for the Steelers. I mean, unless you're a bunghole fan, then I just, you would be rooting for the opposite team, which means we're still family, but you would be my enemy for that day. <laughs> All right, guys, but let's find out what's our third wake the hell up fact of the day. What is the meaning, the fear of arachibutriophobia, however the hell you pronounce it, and we will go into Bigsby and she'll at least pronounce it for us so we can know how to do this. All right, well, the fear is, it is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Okay. It says it's pretty common to be afraid of hikes and scared of SPs. Remember, we won't say that one. But if you have arachibutrophobia, you're among the smaller group of people that suffer for the fear of from, from the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roofs of their mouth. The phobia is often connected to a fear of choking or a fear of sticky textures, but it also can be its own isolated fear. That's crazy. I mean, when you eat peanut butter, like to me, it's like, I know it's going to stick to the roof of the mouth. And that's why you always make sure you have some liquid to wash it down. <laughs> and Snow White, I mean, Snowman, good morning to you, sweetie. You said, are you someone who does the dishes straight away or let them soak for a while? I do the dishes straight away, straight away. I mean, sometimes if I got to do something, then I'll put the water and soap in it. Like if it's a pot or something and it needs to soak for a little bit. But for the most part, I'm washing it right away. I want to wash it right away because I don't like bugs. And I know if you leave dishes, around, you're going to wind up getting some bugs. I don't want no bugs. <laughs> and what did you say, Donald? You said Big Ben in college loved the strippers. He always had money in college. He would sell his gloves, autograph pictures, he would always take us to the strip clubs. <laughs> well, I feel like there's a lot of men out there and even females, but especially in the college days that they definitely do a lot of that. <laughs> especially if you live in, the Ve in Vegas, that's like the way to go. It's like, if you come to Vegas, you must at least see one, drive by one, visit one. And what do I use mobile? I like the droid. Yes, I'm not, an, I'm not an iPhone girl. I just don't. I like the droids. And what do strippers mean? If you haven't heard of it, it's people that, oh, that was an alarm. Again, I thought I turned, hold on. I thought I turned this dang thing off. I thought I did. Just set on Sunday, not not even Saturday. Okay. There we go. I guess I still had Thursday on. All right. That's good. Um, so basically, there's clubs. They call them gentlemen clubs. 
where where the girls for entertainment they will entertain you and then they also do a show you'll see on stage and they will go topless so you have to be 21 because they serve alcohol which is pretty crazy because if you go to an 18 and over one they're totally nude but they serve you juice i know it's very weird i remember when i first heard that i'm like that's really weird okay and and what did you say donald you said when he signed with the Steelers, he took us out with the Stormy Daniels. Uh, that's when she was huge. <laughs> well, and definitely being uh, signed with the Steelers going with the NFL, he definitely had the money to show you guys a good time, didn't he? College is a club. Welcome to the club. Yes, college is also a club. You can look at it like that. School is like a club. Soap and radio. Okay, we'll definitely always have your soap, and especially at um, those kind of clubs, because sometimes people aren't very clean, so definitely sanitize extra. And <laughs> 1929 radios are good, are they? Well, thank you for letting us know. All right, let's see how we actually pronounce this word. Okay, hold on a second here. Let's see, where was it so I can, oh my God. Oh wait, I could just do this. Bigsby, what is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth? I didn't understand that. Are you serious? She got to understand that. What is the name of the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth? I didn't understand that. <laughs> what do you call the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth? Sure. Here's what the internet says. Understanding archibutyrobobia, fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Archibutyrobobia. That's how it sounded like. Whoa. That's definitely a hard one. All right. Now I don't feel that bad. And... And what did you say, Snowman? You said, my wife said to you, you see, you're not even listening. I thought to myself, what a strange way to start a conversation. <laughs> now, 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 make sure you're paying attention. Full of sandwiches. I love sandwiches. And Kevin, good morning to you, sweetie. You said, now, can you see why Susan at YouTube had to push this channel about nothing? I don't know what you're talking about, sweetie. And sticky glue. And are you saying I didn't understand? There's a lot of things sometimes I don't understand. <laughs> no, you're I know you're talking about big speed. I know, I don't understand. It's like you have to say it in a certain way. It's like, couldn't she just get when I said peanut butter, the roof of the mouth of the fear? Like it wouldn't just pop up. Ding, big speed. You took a hundred tries. And what'd you say, Sean? Your high school football team plays tomorrow in district finals, East Lansing Trojans. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And the fear you can't meet the team Steelers. Oh, no, no, no fear on that. That could eventually happen. I feel like I meet them, especially when they play every Sunday. <laughs> If it's not I'm seeing them, I am seeing them. And I am very involved in the game. And is your mom's name is also Susan. Look at that. What a coincidence. All right, guys. Well, what do you have to share with me? Because I know you guys wanted to share some stuff. I know Sean definitely wanted me to go on the Instagram, right? So let's head on over there first and let's see what you got. Because it is that time for me to creep on you. What do you got to share? Let's see. What do you got over here? All right. <laughs> what a wonderful, if you're going to go out and get some toilet paper, this would definitely be the one to use this weekend. <laughs> you're going down. You're going down. That's right, Sean. And then... This is exactly what we're doing you. And we see this in the nicest way possible. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And Ashley, you're sharing? You're sharing some hugs? 
I love those. I'm sharing them right back. Oh, right to you, to every single one of you. All right, all right. Not so hard. Sometimes you guys pull on me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that, Sean. That was friggin' awesome. Okay, and look at you. Look at Sean with his airbrush dealer hat. That looks so awesome. I love that. Thank you, thank you for sharing. All right. Anybody else have anything they would like to share? Because I want to just really quick go into my Steelers app and check it out. That's That was Sean. All right, let me see. Just want to see right now. Any new news? More stuff? Who's playing? Where is it? Injury report. Oh no, Juju with his knee. Did not participate in practice. No, Juju. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean it though, because it's not saying he's out. Because remember, they also say they do virtual stuff too. So I'm not too worried. But I know that Derek Watts coming back, Mike Hilton's coming back. Limited participation in practice for Tyson. Okay. To it. Okay, pretty much pretty much what I thought. Okay. Just seeing if anything changed <laughs> it was my moment to be like, do I have something to share with you guys on that end? Okay. And what'd you say, Ali? You're like, I will come to visit Las Vegas to see the team Steelers. Well, we're not playing the traders yet. Uh, maybe that will be next year or, or I mean, still the playoffs are here, but I don't know like where they're going to have the playoffs, how everything's going to work. So I'm not sure about that yet, but for sure, if they are here, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Plan that trip. <laughs> and a boyfriend, yes, I am very much in a relationship, very taken, sweetie. So thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay. And anybody else want me to go on the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter? Do you have something else that you'd like to share with me? This would be that time. If it's a snap, I will snap you back, and I'll even do it right now. But it can stay private because you know we've done this before. If you guys want something private, I got you, and I'll do it later. Or at least give me before the end of Saturday, and I will catch up. And wait. Wait for you. The World of Worship short film. Okay, you got to tell me. Am I going on YouTube, and I'm just looking that up? And wake the hell up, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yep, that's where I'll go. You just got to let me know where. And yes, sweetie, it's been for about 10 years, Justin. Okay. So now, is that what I'm doing? I'm looking this up on YouTube. All right. I got you. But remember, when it's YouTube, we don't want copyright infringement. So with music and things playing, so I might just flash it to you, show it to you. And that's what it is. Okay. World of Worships. World of... And this also gives people ideas of what they can watch later or search later. Check it out. And it's a short film. Okay. I got it. And you said wait for me, right? Would that be it right there. I'm at the right place. And Rob's good morning to you, sweetie. Are you ready for this game on Sunday? We got this. We got this. We got this. Can you just see it? I can see it. Nine. Nine and oh. That is? It's it? Okay. Let's see. 
Wait for me. That's what you guys would look up, guys. Wait for me. World of Warships short film. Everything in the world. I guess that's the channel. That's the name of the channel. Yep. Everything in the world. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's coming right at you. Choo! So if you guys are into war movies and that kind of stuff, check it out. Let's see how long it is. It goes for about, this says three minutes and 46 seconds. That is a really short film. But they have on their channel, everything in this world. They got a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, you know what I like? I like their border. Look at that. They're not kidding everything in the world. And they have that. That looks really cool the way they did that. Very different. Right? You know it. You know it. See it. See it. See it. See it. See it. Is she leaving it? See it. See it. See it. Believe. And what do you say, Sean? Ben will play Sunday. I told you. I told you he was going to be fine. It was just a pre-precaution. He's good. We're good. And Lunatoes. Well, hello. Good morning to you. Yep, he's in full participation. He is going to be on that field. I told you, don't doubt. We got this. Got this, got this, got this, got this. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Vance McDonald caught the Rona. So he has to be out for a little bit. But he'll be back. He'll be back soon, and he'll be fine. And Chinook, good morning to you, sweetie. All right. Do you guys have anything else you want to share? This is that time. Memes, all that good stuff. Hint, 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 Robs. <laughs> all right. Let me see. What else did somebody have? Let's see. Uh, oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just open my phone and I just see stealers everywhere. You sent me some pictures. I I showed them. Did you send more? Oh, but you know what? I will show it again because Rob's is here and I know he would appreciate this. We're going to get toilet paper and get that one. <laughs> It's okay if we're double showing. I know there's a lot of people that coming in that really want to see that. <laughs> and everybody, this is Sean. Oh, it doesn't let me hold it again. It only let me see it once. It's like one and done. You with the hat. It is so not cool. How does it not show it again? It says press and hold to react, but doesn't it let you pull up the photo again? Look, I just gave it a like anyway. We right, we went right to your actual page because look at that shirt you're representing. And Hank, good morning to you. What did you say? You live in Arizona, but you grew up being a Steelers fan for a long time. Oh, this is it. You're answering the question. Okay. But when the Cardinals lost, the big one, in 2009, I was bummed and I went to a strip club and spent about 500 bucks, but like big. So really big. You like, you were like making it rain. And then that's when you said you still love the Steelers, but you're on the Cardinals. And Bradley, hello, you already know it. Thumbs up. Go Steelers. <laughs> Right? Do you not want that toilet paper? <laughs> exactly, because we call them the bungles. They are worth they are worth wiping her ass with. That's it. <laughs> you meant to say you like Big Ben. I was wondering. I was like, something got cut off there. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for liking Big Ben. Yes, he's a great quarterback, and he's going to bring us another victory. But remember, it's not just him. It's the whole team. But the whole team works a lot better when Big Ben's there. We've seen it. We know it. They respect their quarterback. 17 years, he knows. He got this. 
<laughs> he has a lot of experience and he has a great friggin arm man and he just says has has to just has the confidence in himself and he got this and i know because of this whole shit that went on this week with the rona being scared for the steelers that watch the victory that we're going to show on Sunday, especially after those cowgirls. Come on, we are coming back, and we are coming back so strong. I can't wait. And play the song Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy of Do 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 do. Hold on, I need to like act like I have the hat on too because I'm trying to remember the video. <laughs> I can't because of copyrights. We can't do that. Yeah, then then YouTube would be like, you did a copyright infringement. And we're not trying to do that here. And remember, speaking about the YouTube and not just me, other YouTubers, remember, don't skip those commercials. Make sure if a commercial pops up, you wait 30 seconds out of your life. Don't hit that skip button. If you're a premium member, commercials won't pop up. And then don't forget, you can always donate right there in the little money sign. You see it below. You can always do that. And especially if you think you're going to skip commercials, then you do at least a 99 cents donation. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Bradley was already reminding you guys. I'm reminding you again. And then Nightbot even tells you to subscribe. So subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And then up there, up there in the links, I have posted a link and I've made it available for you. Do you have your wake the hell up mask yet? Do you have your merchandise? That should be the first thing on your list of merchandise. Get it, get it. And that's how you do it right on that link right up there. Okay. And what did you say, Sean? We beat Bengals last year without Ben. Bengals will get destroyed this time. I know. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. We got this. No, Seth, only Monday through Friday. And it's usually 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. But because of this whole Rona and my pre-longing after effects of how I feel, we, we've, been, we've been going as long as 10, sometimes a little bit earlier, but not quite to 11. But Monday through Friday, so just the weekdays. And sometimes... Michael live on a weekend. I told you guys I was going to do gaming. Gaming's probably going to happen sometime today, I'm thinking, or maybe sometime on the weekend. But again, remember this weekend, if you want to watch the game, I'm going to the South Point Casino. I will be in the sports book in a booth. Yeah, it'll be very easy to find. And remember, remember that shirt I wore that I said I kind of like turn it into a jacket. I am wearing that this Sunday. So you'll be able to even know what I'm wearing. I mean, I'm going to have it open. I'm going to have a steel shirt. I'm not sure who I'm going to rock yet. If I'm going to rock a jersey under, if I'm going to, well, maybe my long sleeve. I don't know because it is getting cold and I'm about to get into that weather. And oh my God, I was creeping on you guys and you guys were sharing some stuff. And I love it because sharing is caring. But I just realized we didn't talk about the weather here in Locust. Locus in local, local Las Vegas, Nevada. So let's see me complaining about this cold weather, how cold it is. So let's see what we got here. Today, it started out cold. It started out at 50 degrees. It's already at 57. That's not really high, but it's going up to a high of 65. Yeah, that's still cold. And then Friday, starting at 42, going up to a high of 68. And keep in mind, today and tomorrow, those clouds are in the sky, but it's not looking like any rain I can see from all the way up to Wednesday, because that's as far as we can see. And how about Saturday? Saturday is going to start out at 44 degrees, and it's going up to a high of 69. And the sun is going to be shining bright. Along with on Sunday, that sun will still be out shining bright, but it will start out at 46 to a high of 68 degrees. Then let's start off the week with, it's still the same and I'm excited. It's in the 70s. So it's like, oh my God, yes, please bring us a little bit more warmth. Starting out at 47 degrees on Monday and Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday looks like those clouds are going to be out, but it is going up to a high of 74 on Monday. So that's not that bad, but Tuesday and Wednesday looks a lot brighter, even with those clouds. It looks like it's 52 degrees that it's going to start out on Tuesday but then it's going up to a high of 75. Okay, that's not that bad.
But check this out. Wednesday looks even better. It's going to start at 53 degrees, and then it's going up to a high of 77 degrees. And again, the clouds will be out, but you know what? That's at least a lot warmer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and what did you say? You said messy hair from your daughter's Bonnie? Wait, what, wait, what? Is my hair messy? Well, I um, did brush it. I do let it just dry naturally. These are just the curls that just come out. I don't put like any product or anything in it. So if the frizzies are starting to come, that's also change of weather. And you know what? It's, I don't really care. <laughs> and what did you say, Sean? It's only supposed to be 50 today in Michigan. Oh, see, it's cold out there too. And check your cards to see the day is going to be, what do you mean check my cards? I, I, I check the weather app. <laughs> that's the card that I, I check. I don't go, okay, we're going to see the weather. Yeah, no, I don't got no crystal ball over here or pull it out anything else. I'm literally going on the weather app. They give me the answer. And sometimes they're not always accurate, but at least it's given us something. And what'd you say, Ed? In Kitchener, you're like 47, 32 degrees. Oh my God. See, now that's cold. You said, no, not the hair. Well, then I'm confused, Samid. That's what it said. Did autocorrect not be friendly with you? <laughs> Allie's like, don't worry. You're looking nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but you know what I know I'm looking like? I'm looking like I'm real. There's just mascara on. I, I don't do the made up anything. When you guys see me when I book a job in the entertainment world, you'll see me a lot more done up. Otherwise, this is me. And when I'm playing me, just me, this is me. Sometimes I wear my hair up, sometimes I'll keep it down, sometimes I move it on one side, sometimes I move it somewhere else. I just like kind of let my hair do what it does because it's like a curly, my mom likes to call it the mane. She's like, I like when you keep it wild, it's your mane. And I do, I feel like it's a big part of me, my hair. <laughs> and where is your homie, Breezy? She is, oh, Breeze, <laughs> she is sleeping. Yes, she is. She didn't even move at all when I said good morning. Bella was literally ready to fly through the door. She was so excited to get out the room. I was like, maybe she's had to pee because I actually had the door closed on her. Poor little thing. Oh, thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. And yes, don't even say the word cold because then you start getting me cold. <laughs> I almost did put a t-shirt on today, but I was like, no, I'm still feeling the more after you get out the shower. It's like, you just want to put on those warm clothes. <laughs> and you know why also, because I had some stuff I had to throw in the recyclable. So I, that was the other thing I was like, yeah, let me put on a sweatshirt to go outside. <laughs> I was like, I got to put the bottles. Like I got to walk outside and do it. I might as well just do it now. It's another way to wake you the hell up. You know, we were all talking about like the shower does one of these days we were talking about the shower, a shower does wake you up in the morning. Well, it's the same thing with that cold air too. <laughs> There's nothing about that cold. That's like, Whoa, I'm definitely up now. Over to mid, are you excited? Cause now you can wear your little winter jackets. I know. So, some stuff you get to pull out. You get to wear all that winter stuff. I love hanging out at the house. And like we were talking about earlier about the pajamas, like the um, the fuzzy bottoms or some nice sweatpants and just kicking back. It's so much more comfortable than wearing jeans or shorts, man. <laughs> and I am so late. What am I so late for? Are you talking to Adolf? Yay, he's just a little late. Good morning, sweetie. Remember, be on time. We start at seven. <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys want to share with me? This is that time. Let me know. And if it is private, just let me know. I'm going to write you back and I got you. Just like good news, Hindu. I got you, sweetie. And Trilla, well, good morning to you all the way from Indonesia. Thank you for coming in. Did you all want water? Was I rude? Did I not offer some of my lovely tea? Would you guys like some? 
<laughs> and some nuggets. No, I, I don't have I don't have some chicken nuggets for you right now. Yes, Tamid, it's good news, Indy. He's always like, make sure you're right back. And it's private. Okay, I'm just reminding him. I got him. Okay, anything else, though, you guys want to share? Remember, I will snap you back. I'm only a day behind right now. That's it. And that's usually where I'm usually about. So I've caught up all on that. I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I did need to say this because... <laughs> I still am learning the snap, I swear. So apparently with snap, if I've snapped you back and you're like, wait, what did you say? I probably did get cut off in like the first couple seconds because I always forget. And we actually said this yesterday. You got to hold down. So if anybody's new on snap, when you're doing the video, you're recording, you hold down the button, but you have to wait till the button actually loads. And I just, I'm just so used to like when you hit live and you just go. So I hit the button and I start going and then it like cuts off like the first two things. <laughs> and then sometimes when you do it fast and I like to do this because it's kind of funny, it winds up being a funny video because you know how like when you go on snap and, and you get the video and you're listening, it just keeps over and over and over again. So it's kind of funny when it does cut off and then you hear some other things, but keep in mind if you didn't and it's already snapped and then it's over, we'll just do a new one. <laughs> Because I can't always remember what that snap was because it doesn't always let you see what you sent or what you're replying from, if that makes sense. Or I haven't figured out how to do it because then it just seems like it disappears. Just like Sean, I saw your picture. Okay, you want to share another one? And then it's like I went to go show it again and it won't show that picture. So it's crazy. It's like one and done. So you better all pay attention because Sean's sending us something. All right, let's see. Now, see, this one doesn't say a photo because probably a photo uploaded, but it's like when you take your own pictures, those ones. Oh, but check this out. Oh, look at that beautiful helmet. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look how it's just shining. <laughs> and what'd you say? Tamid's like, I am going to create an account in Facebook. Okay, go ahead. And then why? So then you can share some stuff. You want to share some stuff? And don't worry, you can play any song, my friend. Do all of this live stream every day. I can't do every day, especially with me still coming back. I can't exert too much. Even when I was telling my mom, I was like, I'm going to about like, like 10 o'clock. And it feels like right when I'm there, like, like pretty much like right now, I'm starting to feel not so good. Not like, not like that bad, but I just am starting to feel like a little, little nauseous and it's probably getting close to that time. It seems like my body, this is like when it's like, okay, I've exerted for a little too much and it depends how much fun we have too. And I don't want to stop the fun, but it's like when I get excited and we're laughing and I laugh so much, like that's what starts making me not feel good. And right, it's a football helmet. That's what it was. What'd you say, Ed? You're like, oh my, you are a real helmet fan, right? That's cool. I like the way that helmet looks. I like how you can really see the emblem. I hate when they're playing and I'm like, I, mean, I can see it, but I'm just like, shouldn't it stand out even more? <laughs> and a chilled cow. Uh, are you trying to tell us you're going to eat beef today? All right. Do you guys have anything else you want to share? Let me know where I'm going. Are you, have I watched the good place before? Yes. That definitely sounds familiar. Oh, you know what? I, I don't think we have caught up on this. Did you guys catch up on your Wentworth? I was so upset that I couldn't like, be excited with you guys when it came out to do it. It was even so hard for Breezy and I to watch because that's when during the time when we were really like not feeling good. But did you catch up? Oh, my God. Are you not waiting for the next season already? Oh, my God. I was like, they can't do that to us again. <laughs> and, and a bear. Well, I don't think you're going to eat a bear today. 
You're having some hot wings for lunch? Nice. And oh my God, Ed, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Show me Diwali from Space Photo. I didn't say Wally. I said D Wally. Show me D Wally from Space Photo. There we go. Oh, yes. Look how gorgeous this is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I think I really like that. Look at that one. Look at all those beautiful lights. Let's close up on this one. Is it not going to let me like really close up? Hold on. Oh, look at that. Look how gorgeous that looks. It almost looks like a bunch of beautiful jewels, crystals and stuff, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. I am so sorry, Ed. I know you got to you got to remind me and I should have showed yours a long time ago. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. Oh wait, no, hold on. That wasn't it. Look at this one. Is it not going to let me pop that one up? There we go. Ah. <laughs> I keep closing it. I open it and then I'm closing it. Oh, look. Really is so gorgeous. And the Royal Battle Royal? Mwah. Right back to you, Ed. Let's see, what about, oh, look at this one. Come on. Some of them don't let me, it's like you gotta click on it and then click on it again and then, oh, and look at that green. Oh, and like the purples. Gorgeous. And you said the good place, nice TV show. Have you seen it? I said, yeah, I think I have. You didn't hear me before? I don't know. Are some of you cutting in and out on your reception, man? Call up your internet, man, and tell them. <laughs> and that's right, Nightbot. Let the world know. Thumbs up, thumbs up if you haven't done that. And then I throw in the extra. You see that subscribe? It's right in your face. Hit that button. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. It's so cool, though, when you just see images from when they show the images of looking at places on Earth or just in general Earth from space. It's just so cool. Like, it's just like, look at this. It really does remind me of, like, beautiful crystals. I love... I love shiny things. You guys know that. I literally, I get attracted to it sometimes. We'll be in a store and it's like, what is that? And it might just be a bead. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it like draws your attention. And what'd you say, Sean? After we beat the Ravens on Thanksgiving, we will be 11 and oh, that's right. We got, we got the, we got the bungholes. Then we got the jackoffs. Then it's the Ravens. That's the order. And then I think it's, oh my goodness. I can like see, I can see them right now. It's Washington. I think it's Washington that then, then we play after Thanksgiving. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Schedule. Okay. We got, yep, it's Washington, then it's Buffalo, then it's the bungholes again, then the Colts, and then the Browns. I'm like, why can't I remember that? <laughs> it's like, I see it in my head, and then I'm like, damn it, which one was which again? 
And what'd you say, Ed? You said, now that's the celebration. Diwali is tomorrow. And, and what, what did you say, Ali? You said, are you like the gold or the diamond or the crystal? Well, my birthstone is the diamond. So I like to put me in the category of the gold, though. <laughs> Just the jewels. Just the sparkly, the sparkly, shiny jewels. But no, diamond has always been probably ever since when I was younger. And like I said, I grew up, we didn't have a lot of stuff. And then it was like, when I got older and like, you know, you see people, you know, on TV and they get these gifts and it's jewelry. And I was like, I want that someday. And then dealing with the idiots that I've dealt with that got me stuff and then took it back. And then I finally, to a point in my life was like, you know what? Uh, it's time to buy myself something and something that I know that's going to be dear to me and, and, and be a part of me, my birthstone and everything. And nobody's going to take it from me. <laughs> that's what, that's what got me really thinking about it. And creamy. Am I like Tupperware? Well, thank you. It's the new birthstones. I'd like to be, can I not be so much Tupperware? Can I still be like glass? <laughs> I don't want to be plastic. <laughs> And good morning, good morning, late one. Do you have, any, have anything to share with us? Have you talked to Mia? Is she doing better? Because we still give lots and lots of great love to Mia all the way going towards Canada so she can get better soon. All right. But anything else you guys want to share? Let me see. Oh, I know what I want to share with you guys. I discovered this and it is pretty cool. You can share it with like people you know too, but have you guys heard of the app called Ibotta? It's I-B-O-T-T-A. It is pretty cool. I got this notification and I shared it with this lady that I could tell because we were in the store, we had to get a, a few things yesterday. And she seemed like she was going through a hard time. You know, sometimes you just feel for somebody. So I told her, I said, I know this is weird. I said, but have you ever heard of an app? Because she was had like her coupons with her kids. And she's like, no. And I told her about it. And I told her, look, I'm going to give you this uh, referral code too. And you're going to get a free Thanksgiving meal. So if you guys want it, here it is. I will give it to you. It is. Hold on. Uh, first, let me show you what the app looks like. This thing is really cool, man. You really do like, you like get money back, whatever, and it gives you free stuff. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. You know, your ads, you get things on Google and stuff. And especially sometimes when you're in, you're like, all right, let me join this. Let me see what's up. Especially nowadays, saving money. Are you kidding me? And getting money back? What? Did you just wake up? You're, not yet? Okay. And good morning, Farhan. And D D D D S S. Good morning to you too, sweetie. Yeah, you was thinking about going to break her out of the country. <laughs> You're gonna go to Canada and rescue her. No, it's a bada. It, it spelled with an O T T A. Hold on, let me show you what it looks like. It's this app right here. It's pink. Do 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 do. See that right there? That one. That's what it looks like. And when you guys join the app, put this in. Where's my referral code? Because then it also says if you refer friends, you can make money doing that too. And this is the first, the first time was, was yesterday. I gave this lady the link and now, now I'm giving it to you guys. Um, Cause you could also, you could gift it to your, you know, parents too, or whatever. If you're like, look, you're going to make that turkey dinner for me, for you. I'll, I'll get you some money back on it. Okay. So it's a U K G T B H. So join. And you know what? Let me do this. Let me do this right now. Hold on. If I want to invite you. Let me go on my app. It is really cool though. Cause it literally has like 
I think every store in here. And you know how a lot of people buy gift cards for Christmas and stuff? Yeah, you can do it right here as well. And you can get money back for it. And like free stuff. I don't know. I just saw the thing and it was like free Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm like, what? And then it's like 10 or 11 items. And yes, you actually get a turkey, but it's like up to like, I think it was like $10 or something. So like, let's say you spend like $13 on a turkey. They're going to give you like 10 back. It's pretty freaking cool. All right, hold on. And is that South Point, Dave? Good morning to you. You said, Bonnie, you're not going to believe this, but I did it again. I just got a new phone two days ago and you dropped it out of your pocket on the asphalt and busted the screen. Oh, my God. Well, at least it was an accident. It wasn't you were getting mad during the game. OK, <laughs> the good news is, is you still got insurance. Maybe it wasn't the right phone. Maybe it was going to have difficulties. It was the future telling you or let's not crash it this weekend. And I will be seeing you this Sunday, South Point, Dave. I cannot wait. This game is going to be a good one. It is. Okay. But I'm giving everybody, I don't know if you know about this, uh, Dave, but there's there's an app called Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. And I'm going to give you guys the link, right? Free stuff is always cool. I know. And then you get money back. What? And it says you can do it from um, PayPal or your... Or your checking account and it actually gives you money, but it looks like your cash out has to be $20, which still isn't that bad, but just already you're going to get back from that Thanksgiving thing. You're going to be like, you're probably gonna be over the 20. Okay. But hold on. And it literally has like every friggin' store. Like seriously, look, you got Walmart, you got, oh, you got Walmart, you got Albertsons, you got Sprouts, you got Dollar Tree, you got CVS, Target. I mean, you just look it up. Amazon, like there's so much stuff. You literally put it in even gas stations. Oh, thank you, Karimi. Oh, I appreciate you so much. Let me see. Hold on. How do I share? Invite friends. Invite. Yep. A U K G. No, 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 no. G T. Okay. You're like $99. Here we go. See, now you really want the Ibotta app. You can save. <laughs> Sorry, I know and with the assurance they charge you too. It sucks. But like I said, think on the bright side. Maybe that phone was going to screw up anyway. Okay, so no, it's A-U-K-G-T-B-H. Okay, let me see if I could do it this way. Hold on. If I invite you, email, text, and more. Let me see. Let me just copy. I'm going to copy, Okay. And I'm going to throw it in the chat. And Asha, good morning to you. Cell, <laughs> cell phone protector cases, they work. He actually has one. I was going to actually ask you that, Dave. Did you, not, did you not put your protector on it yet? Or was it only on the back and you don't have the front protected, man? I'm telling you, now you should definitely get the front protected if you didn't do it before. Okay, hold on. I got to get into YouTube now. So I got this for you guys. Okay, hold on. This is what you guys are going to do. Live chat. Okay, here it is. You thought Thanksgiving was canceled? No. And don't you think about that? Still just food in general. How do you spell Brady? <laughs> How about if you don't want to spell him? Okay, peace. Ah, shit. Come on. Paste. Okay, this is... Wait a second. Did it go through? What just happened? Do I know coding? No, Ashok, I don't. I don't even know how to copy and paste. Oh, you say he says cheat. <laughs> Very nice. I knew there had to be something there. And David, good morning to you all the way from Montreal, Canada. Thank you for coming in. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's too much. Okay, hold on. I got to delete some of this stuff. Hey, thought you'd like to try Obata. Okay, the app gives you cash plus free. I'm just going to delete all that. You guys already know what it is. I'm just going to put the plus, okay? And here it is. 
click on that right there. But there's the referral code. A-U-K-G-T-B-H. All right? Let's all make money together. Refer people. We're going to be like, I didn't think I'd make it by Obata. <laughs> it really is cool, though, especially like certain foods that you buy. You're like, holy crap. Like, for example, so we did it. Like I said, I passed it. I gave the information to the lady and we did it for the Outshine Pops. They actually had, if you buy two boxes of Outshine Pops, you get 50 cents back. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We buy this all the time. That's 50 cents, man. <laughs> no, but there was something else. What was the thing that Brianna was like? And look, let's see if there's a coupon. You got like a dollar back. I think it was, was it Pop-Tarts? I don't know. It was something. But they literally have like so much food, man. No, Christmas isn't canceled either. None of the holidays are canceled. And remember, it's always a holiday here. So don't even think about it like that. We're still going to be fine. We can still have our great dinners. We can still do our stuff together. And you're trying to learn Spanish? Um, I do a little bit, but not enough that you're going to learn something in here. I would suggest go find um, some apps. There's some free apps in there, out there, and you can learn a language that way. 10 degrees Celsius. Oh, my God. That makes me so cold right now. Oh. Okay. And what did you say, South Point Dave? You said, I haven't otter on there but not the screen protector i know i got to get with the program oh my god you didn't oh one job <laughs> well maybe that's the reason it's happening now so so it doesn't happen later on you don't get used to the new phone that's why you got to get another new phone and you're going to be okay but you know what when a screen cracks though that's something they can usually fix depending on how internal it is in the crack sweetie so, so don't get, don't get too upset thinking you're at a $99. It could only be like a $30 fix. There's a lot of places out there that fix phones. And especially if it's not like the newest, newest one, they don't charge you that much for the screen. You'd be surprised. Sometimes like 50 bucks, way better than paying like a hundred. And you have a lot of money as a collector more if you have a lot. What do you mean? What do you mean as... I'm a little confused with that. Autocorrect was not that friendly. <laughs> and what did you say? Where am I, my family originally from? Well, I grew up in New York, but I have a mix of Puerto Rican, Costa Rican, and Sicilian mix. And Mayan Indian. Using your old phone till football ends <laughs> in case you lose your temper. I feel like that's a good choice right now. So on Sundays, just change the phones. <laughs> no, but with you, I think yes, until we win that Super Bowl. But then again, you could be excited and throw the phone too from excitement because you do both. You get mad at your phone and you get excited with the phone. So yes, keep the old phone. <laughs> and New Year's is canceled. Oh, well, as far as like going out in big crowds, I would definitely say that part is canceled, but not still the part of bringing in the new year. Come on now. And that's a nice mix. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. But can you guys see that link up there? Did it worked good? And, and you see what that the code is? So just have that code because I want you guys to get your free Thanksgiving dinner. You know what? Let me see if I can look on the um, thing and show you guys what you're getting because I know there's a turkey on there. I knew there was. A, I'm so excited. You guys brought this up somehow. I think it was creamy. You brought up Thanksgiving. Or I wouldn't have remembered. It would have been past Thanksgiving to tell you guys. And what'd you say? Your new granddaughter is Caucasian Chinese Italian. Oh, that's a nice mix. Born September 16th. Aw. And congratulations to your new granddaughter. Welcome, Princess Sophia. You said, did I get the wake the hell up questions right this morning? You did in your sleep. <laughs> Surprisingly. All right. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me see. Thanksgiving meal on Ibotta. Wait, hold on. Free Thanksgiving meal on, and it's like everything, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, you get the works. But it is only, it's exclusive with Walmart. That's what I do need to tell you. 
that thing is only with Walmart that you're getting free stuff, but you can shop anywhere and get free stuff. And they do have, it's called any brands. So let's say you get anything you save on that too. So you don't have to just get brand things, but you get more money when it is like a brand name. And I think they're giving you like a free bottle of Coca-Cola, if I'm not mistaken. That was the drink. Okay, hold on. I'm still new on this app thing, so here it is. Okay, look, you get a free butterball turkey breast roast, $9.98. And, and nine, $9 You're going to get cash back. So that's what I was telling you. If you guys spend like $15 on a turkey, even $10, if you find a turkey for $8, you're still going to get, it's like you're going to get more than you paid for it. And then you get a free McCormick gravy, a 70, I mean, I can't read, an 87 ounce pouch, and you'll get a dollar twelve back from that. And if I'm not mistaken, those are usually like under a dollar. And if not, it's usually the same cost. So you're going to get all that money back. Then you're going to get the great value. So this is when it's the Walmart brand. You're going to get a great value stuffing mix, which is six ounce mix. And you're going to get 82 cents back on that one. You're going to get the Ida Hoenn mashed potato, mashed potato brands, an eight ounce pouch, $1.88 on that. I'm going to show you guys the list in a second. I'm just going to read it to you first. You're going to get Campbell's condensed cream of mushroom soup, a 10.5 ounce can, and you're going to get 98 cents back on that. A great value cranberry sauce, a 14 ounce, you get 98 cents back. And the great value green beans, 12 ounce, you're going to get $1.34 back. And then you're going to get the French crispy fried onions, a 2.8 ounce. And you're going to get $1.92 back. And then you're going to get the free Coca-Cola two-liter bottle for $1.25. And if you guys look, look right here. You see? I'll show you the list. You see? There's your turkey. You see what I mean? So you're getting all of that for free. And then, like I said, there's so many other things you can get. Like, for example, hold on. Let me go into my Abada. And I'll show you on this side. Um, where is it? Okay. I'm going to search. Like, let's just go. We're just going to go into Walmart. Okay. I'm clicking. Oh, wait. So you're going to actually click on Walmart. So you're going to click. I already have it saved in my thing. Like I said, I saved a couple stores. But you click on the Walmart. And then it's going to bring you here. It's going to bring you all for Walmart and then it's going to say for you. And I guess they're saying everybody for that, that deal right now for the Thanksgiving thing. Um, and then they have the category for you buy it again. What's hot, best value, new offers, any item The any item is what I was telling you guys, which is like, it doesn't have to be a name brand. You can buy a name brand, but let's just say it's not on the list. Okay. So let's say you're buying soup. And you wanted Campbell's, but you've seen the great value brand and you like it better. And guess what? It's going to give you like 10, well, let's see. Cause it usually says like, it seems like it's 10 cents. Yeah. They're all 10 cents. So see, like, look right now, this is on the any list, any item. So bagels right now, 10 cents, oatmeal, 10 cents, dip, vodka, cranberries, like all this stuff, you're going to get 10 cents back. So if you get 10 items, you're getting Freaking ten dollars! Uh, ten dollars, yeah, I'll be all right. I could do my math. You're getting a dollar <laughs> total savings. It depends. And what did you say? You mean a lot? Wait, hold on. Where did I? Where did I leave off? Wherever I crave turkey, I come here. Ha 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 ha. All right, you said I mean a lot of money. Why I need more? I'm sorry. I made a mistake to date in writing. Well, that's okay. Well, at least right there, get that link that I put and you can get yourself a free Thanksgiving dinner and some other stuff. And you can also get lots of, uh, save up lots of money with that app. So when you're buying food, you can even change your brand and check it out. Be like, you know what? I might buy this pizza cause I'm going to get like a dollar back. But we're very sorry you're going through hard times and you have a fever, sweetie. You get well soon. You need any brand girl. <laughs> Very funny.
<laughs> and what does you speak the language of? Well, that's not nice to say. Don't say that word. And Mr. Hernandez, can I look up a horoscope for Scorpion November month? Would you like me to do that? I can do that for you. And have you ever had a smoked meat sandwich? It's better than pastrami invented here. Why? Because that's that smoke flavor. Is that what you're talking about? The 87 pouch was, I think, gravy. Wasn't it? I think it was. I think it was gravy. Join the app and then you'll find out. <laughs> and well, hello, triple stacks. I see you. Good morning. You make me think of the Wendy at the Wendy's triple stacks. You don't want to go into Walmart. You can also do you know what you can also do it online. You don't have to actually go in the store. But for the Thanksgiving dinner, I think for the Thanksgiving dinner, you can still, yeah, you can still do it online. You know, they have, you don't have to do the delivery. You can do the pickup where you literally, we've done this a bunch of times. You literally pull up. So you do your shopping and then you pull up to the store and they just put it right in your trunk or in your back seat, however you want to do it. And you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go in the store at all. You'll take one of everything. <laughs> so it depends how you want to do the shopping. But if you go during a certain time and you wear two masks and telling you, you're good. Because when we go, we, we avoid, it's like avoiding the plague. And we're running around the store. And they, especially here in Vegas, they make sure everybody is wearing the mask. Okay. Um, let me look up that horoscope. And then if you want, tell me what store you want me to look at and I'll look what they got for you. Okay. I'll help you out here. Okay. But then I am getting ready to get off, guys. Okay. So horoscope. Can you please tell me, oh wait, I gotta ask. Bigsby, can you give me the horoscope for the Scorpio in November? I found some capsules in the marketplace. Which capsule would you like to add? I don't wanna add it, I just want you to give it to me for today. Cause if I click on this one, is it gonna give me like Should notifications? Should I always use daily horoscopes for astrology? No. Adding daily horoscopes. Okay. Which sign do you want to hear? Here we go. We got the Scorpio. So for all you Scorpios out there, here you go from October 23rd to November 21st. The people you work with are friendly and interested in what you have to say. The team spirit that exists enable you to tackle various projects. You do better if you undertake more projects as a group rather than individually, creating an atmosphere of mutual inspiration and trust. You feel totally in your element. Today is extremely promising for important new acquisitions. You have the right instincts for a good offer and are not easily intimidated. Your friends will give you honest advice if you need any. Invest any surplus cash profitably. Things will run smoothly and you'll be sure to find the right kind of deal. There you go. And you love gravy and gravy loves you. <laughs> gravy. And Raul, hello. Good morning to you, sweetie. And what did you say, Ellie? You're currently in a small village. Internet not help me. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else. How else I could help you? But I, I don't know. That's the only thing extra right now that I can help the world with to get a free Thanksgiving dinner and get some savings. But it is on the internet. You have to you have to download an app. You can actually do it from a computer. So like if you're doing it right here, like if you guys are on your actual computer and stuff, you can actually type in Ibotta because to do the Thanksgiving, you have to do um uh whatchamacallit. It's because what did it say in the email? There's an extension or something. Like with Google, it's with Google Chrome. I think that was it. It was Google Chrome. And you want the Wendy's now? I know triple stack. How could you come in with that? I cannot have a triple stack right now. <laughs> and Mr. Hernandez, you're like, well, thank you. I'm truck driving and listening. Awesome. Exactly. And you're listening because you're smart. You're keeping those eyes on the road. And Raul, my daughter is still sleeping. Probably not like that, but I like that. It's really cute. The monkey face. <laughs> and are all the Vegas prostitutes wearing I? I can't tell you about that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I'm hoping they are. And do I want tickets to visit to visit a French? You can give me four. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And say hello from the side. 
<laughs> Hello, Breezy! <laughs> She's kind of here. And what'd you say? You got that dog food. My dog really likes it. I told you. Oh, I told you. Bella loves that food, man. And we got the salmon because they never have the friggin' salmon. It's really hard to get that salmon flavor. We usually give her the chicken or the beef one. But she, her favorite thing is freaking salmon, man. So she like went crazy when we brought that food. She was like, she went nuts on her bowl. She was like, yes, yeah, salmon. Instead of her screaming bacon around the house, it was salmon. And you have a heart for her. Well, thank you. And Ta Taz, you can speak the, no, but see, don't say that. Let's not say that word. Okay. I have warned you, but guys, I am getting ready to get off. So let me just put that again for you guys the link because i really got want you guys to get your free dinner and also start saving some stuff and apparently if you're for people you can start making money so this could be kind of cool we can make money with the world we'll do it together so when we go shopping because some stuff is always like really you gotta buy this it's nice when you can get money back and that's beautiful that means a lot of stores and a lot of brands have all worked together to help in during these times can I help you tile your roof? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> All right. Arash. Hello. You like the kibbles of different colors? <laughs> Is it just you? You like to see the colors? All right. Hold on. I wanted to... Um, I already paid, copied it, so I should just go like this. It's just I have to... I got to cut off some words because if I do, if I do this, it says, Hey, I thought and all that stuff, it goes way over. Okay. So we'll delete from here again. Here, we're going to have to just say free, free Thanksgiving. And there you go. There it is, guys. And that's that referral code. And then you'll get one too. And then you can share it to other, other people. We should do the whole sharing is caring. Give everybody a free Thanksgiving meal. And do they have holes in their masks to work properly? You know what, Creamy? Shut up. <laughs> well, thank you, Arush. I appreciate that. And what did you say, Ali? You're in a village of, I do not know the name of a village Raul. Okay. That's kind of weird being in a place that you don't know what the name is. I would definitely want to find that out. It's just, it would just be weird to be somewhere where I don't know where I actually am. That would feel like I'm lost all the time. What the hell? All right, guys, but you saw Nightbot. Nightbot put it in, says subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure you also share the stream with somebody else. Remember, we'll always be positive, tune out the negative. And now share that link, get everybody a free Thanksgiving dinner. And not only that, just a lot of savings on the app. I'm really excited. Like I said, I started using it yesterday and I got like a couple dollars. I was like, dang, when you spend like a million dollars and you get like a dollar back, it definitely feels good. <laughs> That's what it feels like every time you go grocery shopping. I swear, even when we're just picking up a few things. It's like, what the hell did we buy? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I love you guys so much. You are my sunshine all the time. Thank you. Please, everybody that has caught the Rona, people that have, you know, experienced it, please. This is a serious pandemic going around and please make sure we're masking up. All right. And that link is right up there. Get your wake the hell up merchandise. Definitely. I say the mask should be the first thing. And then I will see you guys again tomorrow. Cause remember tomorrow is Friday. Yes. We're that much closer to our football game on Sunday. Yes, yes, creamy. Steelers! Because I know you love hearing that so much. All right, guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys so, so, so much. You have a great rest of your day. Remember, keep that smile on your face no matter what. No matter what. Keep thinking about those things that bring you sunshine. All right. And now, I know, I should have probably done this when I was talking. <laughs> to, put, to put our intro, outro. So give me a second. 
dee, 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 dee. Well, I did open a lot of things. And I was in my email for a little bit too. So that makes sense. Okay, hold on. And Bella is gonna come in. Bella! Oh, Bella, 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 Bella. Don't make me stir you up in this house. There's a sound. Yeah, and that right there, that is the sound of my phone. <laughs> so. I don't know. That's not. I don't know why that just opened. Oh, Bella heard me. And I heard you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Where'd you go? Are you ready to say? Are you ready to say? Ow! Say we love you to the fam. Mwah, 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 mwah. Hugs, 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 hugs all around. All right. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. It's my morning show. Wake the hell up. Bella! Ow! No, she cannot resist a good how. Come here. Come here. You better owls. You better owls. I'm going to take your salmon away. It's the things that you want to hear. Ow! You little snorter. Trying to sing. That's it. Is that all we get? We say bye. Say bye. -bye. <laughs> She's like, leave me that hell alone. You know, creamy. <laughs> so wake the hell up. Feel like, yeah, I love you. Monday through Friday. Wake the hell up. All right, I love you guys. Is, is, it, is it nighttime? I know for some of you around the world it is nighttime, so sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Remember, don't forget, don't skip commercials when they come up. 30 seconds. If you're a premium member, you don't have to worry about it. Remember, I gave you that link. Go through it. You'll find it. Also, the link for the merchandise. And hit that thumbs up before you leave. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Mwah. Mwah.